In 2023, I spoke with Lyle Convoy, wanting his help to discuss the FCK and what took place. Considering every time I interacted with one of them, they cried out that it was harassment. I saw that Lyle covered things pretty well, and his Discord server seemed to be akin to blood sports. Things were seemingly direct, and I respect that. Being direct is one thing the art community avoids, and if he was interested in their antics, at the least I could show what they did and have a good laugh with my series. Lyle seemed to be someone who just called bullshit when he saw it. Perhaps he would be interested in cracking open this vein of autism that ran deep. A series of events from the art commentary community, when it was a thriving cancer, then went all the way back to a group called the FCK. At the time, Nezzy Monster had recently lied yet again about the sexual harassment accusations she made in 2020, and Lyle managed to get Nezzy Monster to agree to a call, which was in the Senate Discord server, I believe, on May 7th. Nezzy Monster brought Doodle Tones along as her sidekick, and you'll see how that didn't go as they thought it would. During our call, the server was surprisingly very biased, many of them falling back on Ponder Sprocket and Nezzy Monster's videos to speak about it. How horribly that aged. That in and of itself is whatever, though. What was funny was them repeatedly ignoring everything I brought up in the call to then shoehorn the topic to something else, which was usually about me saying mean things. I wish I was joking about that. But remember, this is a barbarian server. Pretty much just moving the goalpost. That and the hypocrisy of it all is very beautiful. Fret not, I'll get into the specifics as the call plays out in just a moment. Now in the call, my throat was burning thanks to my GERD, so my voice was strained. I even muted a few times to get a glass of water. My laptop was also giving me issues with using the Ethernet cable, so I ended up having to use my really shitty phone. That's the only downside to the call. I was not fully prepared because of my deteriorating piece of shit laptop. You will see that even just me moving screenshots over to my phone was a pain in the ass. Before watching this call, I would watch these three videos on Nezzy Monster, which are linked down below, so you'll have the entire context to what the call is about, and my issues with her, but I'll try and provide as much context as I can going forward some things very clear before we start we are gonna have some rules here one of the rules we're gonna have is we're not gonna yell slurs at anybody and we're not gonna have any random insults the point of this conversation is to try to resolve an issue uh, Akumu aka Rath in here apparently takes some issues with Nezi and Nezi of course wants this dealt with as well the point is to hopefully get this handled and get it to where neither party has to go and address this going forward. So, that's what's going to happen here, and that's the purpose of this call. I don't want any nonsense. I don't want any random bickering. And the reason why we have other people here is because I know Nezzy sometimes struggles, and on top of that, there were people that were involved with this who might be able to lend some more information or verify things. That's why they are here. They are permitted to speak, but I will demand that call etiquette be followed. Let's try not to scream over each other. Let's take turns in talking. All right, so, Akumu, since you came to me with this issue, I'm gonna allow you to speak first and state what your problem is, and then we're gonna go from there. Everybody should be able to unmute who are involved and should be able to talk going forward. Well, my issue is that she doesn't like that I keep bringing up stuff from like 2020, 2021, but it was her group to begin with, and depending on what's brought up and talked about, specifically claims that she made. If it's in regards to the whole sexual harassment situation, she was the one to make the announcement. And then her twit longer that came later in 2021, conveniently, right around the same time Mad Libs made her little... What was it? It was like a announcement on YouTube community post right around that same time she made her little twit longer and in that it had nothing with the, the video it didn't mention the fact that she gave the stuff to mad libs for the video conveniently and then the twit longer after that that came this year didn't mention any of that so it's like this okay well i'm taking accountability but i'm conveniently leaving out the things that i participated in because i don't know maybe because she thinks if the video is taken down, it just didn't happen. I, I don't know. All right. So real quick, thank you for stating that. I don't know if you're aware, because I wasn't until very recently. Nezzy's apparently trans, uses he, him. I'm going to ask that to be respected because I want this call to remain uh, I go, I'm gender fluid. I go by any. Okay. Oh, you have all. You can't keep hogging genders anyways. Moving on. So It's mine. Anyways, so that's been stated. So Nezzy, Akuma has stated his issue. 
I'm going to now allow you to respond. I didn't think it was necessary. I don't have a really good memory, to be clear. And this was right after I'd finished talking to Libby. I didn't think that the video was an issue. Um, after I'd finished talking to Libby, I made it clear to her that I would put everything on me. Like, everything that has happened, whether it's the video or the announcement, has been my responsibility. I don't take... I'm not making any excuses. It was all on me. To explain everything that happened, I can't because I don't have a good memory and I don't know what's I made I made the I made the apology. I don't know what more that you want. <laughs> well, you say that it was an accident, but okay, the first time could easily be an accident. Easily. However, after the first time you did it, you mm -hmm. gave the stuff to Mad Libs for a video on us. Mainly me, but on us, because you were using the people around me to go at me for an odd reason, I guess, some kind of odd angle. I wasn't and using the, him to get at you. Then why it would he be brought, brought up in the video? Call it was it, brought up, and I don't remember why. I, I honestly cannot remember why. We thought that well, it was appropriate for the video. I don't remember why. Mad Lib specifically says in the video that she's bringing it up because she thinks I would talk about it. Now, I didn't know that she was making a counter video either, but I do know that you all went around to various people, okay, and asked specifically for dirt on me. Teddy is no, just one of them. No, you asked specifically for dirt on me from Teddy. No, I did not. She herself said this back about? in 2020 when what the video was being about? produced. No, I did not. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Akuma, do you have like a screenshot or anything that shows that? Um, I'm willing to bet I could find it somewhere. Uh, the problem is Teddy's account's now deleted, but I specifically remember this being discussed. I pre pretty much remember everything about the situation from the back of my hand. Now, the other stuff I do have evidence for, like her twit longer, the original one, or the video itself, I can provide if need be, because they took it down. I have no recollection of ever asking anything to have dirt on you. That's well, the, here, what, what was said specifically around that time was when it was right before, actually, I think right after the, either right when the video was made around that time or a little bit after, but this is before Teddy deleted her account. She specifically said that you came to her requesting evidence from, uh, in regards to me. Well, I didn't. Well, it's interesting that you didn't because the video didn't have anything exactly of that. Actually, it only had the screenshots I gave you and I, it only had two out of the 16 I gave you. And so you kept saying that I didn't provide you any screenshots and yet there's 16 of them. The last one in our DMs, which is it's been there for a long time now, but you keep saying you weren't sent it. No, I said that you sent me. I said that you sent me evidence. I said that it wasn't all of the evidence that I had seen was not. Uh, didn't prove anything. And that's the because one of the screenshot. screenshots I mixed up with another one. And then later, hold on, but then right in the replies of that same twit longer, someone actually gave you a recording of our DMs going over it. And you said that I only sent one screenshot, which was cropped to only say sent here, which it wasn't. Because I mixed it up with a different screenshot. And also there were two photos. The one that yeah, Teddy came the, to the me about was a photo different photo. Was, yeah, this, well, the second photo was an alteration to the first photo that was sent. I, we no, learned that it, was, it was a different photo entirely. I remember this because it had a paper with her name on it. Hmm. Okay, that... There were two different photos. Teddy made this clear to me in that there were two different photos. There's the one that you have and there's the one that got deleted where he had a piece of paper where he'd written her name on, her, on his chest. It wasn't writing on the photo itself? No. It was specifically on a piece of paper. I remember this. Okay. It was a piece of paper he was holding up with her name. I remember it. some of the DMs said it's hard to draw or it's hard to write yeah, from this yeah. angle, I remember which that, is why they gave it was to Teddy recently. Yeah. Yes. That was a different photo. Okay. So you all had that photo. She didn't mention anything about the second photo. No, she didn't. Well, she told me, and you also told me this in our DMs, you can go check that now if you still have them. If need, I, if need be, I can pull them up. The only thing that she told you was she was made uncomfortable. Yes. But you took it and made it an announcement of sexual harassment. You yeah. took it to the sexual harassment announcement. And then when 
people joined just to try and get clarification of the situation. Everyone got roped up under. Now, you did apologize for that, so whatever, right? But then it was mm -hmm. later used for the video, even though it had nothing to do with the video. I mean, aside from that, there's also the, the um, accusation that I had Sherman go out for you based on me having conversations with Sherman before in the past. Well, a part of it was because Lucy messaged you to get Sherman to back off of her. So I thought that you two were associated. Oh, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. So you guys knew about that? Because you, I thought you all left that out on purpose, but you're telling me you knew that Lucy had messaged me and I got Sherman to back off, yet you would use that as, as an example of me sending him out? I don't remember ever saying you sent Sherman out. I remember saying that you were associated with him. Mad Lib said I sent him out. Then I, for you. I don't know. I didn't know that she said that. And then there was also um, previously when you guys were beefing with uh, Kai and Omnia, she claimed on Twitter that I was doxing you all. And I don't know about that either. I don't follow Omnia. I never did. I think I blocked her after our first confrontation. No, not Omnia. I'm saying when you all were beefing with Kai and Omnia after Toby did her shit, it was when Kai and Omnia were wondering what kind of video you all were making. And that was when uh, Mad Libs provided context as to what it was. And she said that I was doxing. She didn't mention my name in the tweet because, of course, she was at the time still trying to keep it more low key. You all also claimed that I was still going after Slimmers at the end of 2020 when you all sent her in my Discord server. I didn't send her in your Discord server. I'm saying you all as a group did. No, none of us did. I approached her after the video because Mad Libs in the video, uh, you guys can find this video on um, the way back, not way back, yeah, I think it's on the way back machine, a um, uh, year of harassment as it's titled. And in the video, Mad Libs says, oh, I have a spy, but I'm not going to name who it is. And then later in the video, she says, oh, I'm still going after Slimmers, using a tweet where I say I'm cool with her, oddly enough, as evidence for that. Now, I approached Slimmers after the video was made, the day it was made, after I watched it, I specifically asked, I said, uh, is, this, is this by you? It, she admitted to it, I, and that you all had sent her. So it's a I did not odd. send her. I was not a part of it. Okay. I contributed to the part of that video with the thing, with the with the server shit, but I wasn't a part of anything else with that video. I have not with, talked with to servers server like at all. The server stuff that happened in my server. Okay. The accusation, the initial accusation. That was it. And okay, I'm so going to be perfectly honest with you, and I'm saying this to be as gentle as possible. I have a very bad memory, so I don't remember a lot of stuff that happened or why. But one thing that I can tell you is that I did not send Slimmers after you. I don't talk to Slimmers. I've maybe talked to her once, and that was it. Maybe, like, over Twitter stuff, but it was because of her art, and okay. that's it. So, I guess I have some other stuff in Carizer or whatever about the whole FCK stuff. I have access to the, the Discord server of the FCK. Mm -hmm. And what I what I find interesting is in the in the video with you and, and Ponder, since we're we're moving past that gradually, uh, you all claim there's various claims. Some of them are outright lies, and I'll elaborate that now. Uh, in part two, just this is just an example of one of them. Not all of them. There's quite a few. Uh, part two, about two or three minutes in, you all claim, and this is a big reoccurring theme with the video. You all claim that I deleted something that I never deleted. Now you could say, oh, my account was suspended. Yes, it was, it did get suspended. Actually, you all state that my account got suspended mid-production. So here's the thing though. You say that I deleted a tweet that I never deleted to suggest that I'm hiding something. And this is an argument that I've had people continuously bring up throughout the last three years, among other stuff that spawned from those videos, such as the doxing claim, which I'll get into that in a second, but the idea that I'm hiding stuff because I, I deleted one singular tweet and said I might delete other ones. Um, but you all claim that I deleted other tweets that I never deleted. Like, for instance, Ponder claims that I deleted a tweet calling Slimmers uh, dumb, never deleted it. But at the two to three minutes mark, there's a tweet where you all claim that I deleted it and then say that um, my account was banned uh, mid-production like the, the line was written before my account was suspended 
um, and that I deleted it myself. Akumu, it's not because she knows these people that she's willing to talk to them, it's because they were polite in approaching the situation. You were not. Even when Creepshow Art contacted Madame to get her side of the story, she started out cordial. Why? Because immediately jumping in and acting aggressive doesn't make people want to open up with you. Indicating that you were willing to listen to each side of the story fairly does, and this is not something that you conveyed when addressing Slimmers, evident by you literally calling her the dumb artist everyone is talking about. You yourself even claim that when people get aggressive with you, you return that aggression, so why on earth you thought it was a good idea to start aggressive with Slimmers and then, oh, oh, goodness, be shocked when she wasn't immediately polite and clambering at your feet so that she could confess her guilt is baffling. Akumu has even acknowledged that he's removed comments from the video that we are discussing, likely because they weren't too nice. So he's allowed to ignore people who respond aggressively to him, mind you, on a video where he was already throwing accusations out against a person in order to vilify them, but if people aren't automatically receptive to him being a little shite, well that's just their fault and it shows that they're hiding something. That makes sense. Also, didn't she block you because you were basically harassing her on not only Twitter, but also Instagram? Which begs the question, if you were so in the right and Slimmers is totally at fault for not responding to you as you wanted, why are your comments deleted? Something to hide, maybe? Mind you, this was written before his Twitter account was taken down, which it has been, for harassment. So now the comments are gone because his original Twitter account is gone, but originally it was because he had removed them. I don't know why, it's not like you stopped being a dick at any point in time. Time. Why is it I can still find that tweet like on the account as it's suspended if I deleted it? Because it's your account. If it's if your account is but suspended, if I deleted it, it wouldn't be it. in my if I deleted yeah, but I'm saying because you all even said it yourselves, in the line itself, you say this was written before his account was suspended. So he deleted it himself. It has nothing to do with that he was suspended. But I never deleted it. It's still on the suspended account. Well, then we thought it was deleted because your account was suspended and we couldn't see it, so. But you, you would have easily been able to check that. You even state this line was written before his account was suspended. So you're saying that as though I deleted it and then my account was suspended, but it was never deleted. And that's a reoccurring problem throughout the whole video with like multiple tweets. You say that I deleted them to hide them and that I'm, I'm lying by omission. But then you, conve you, you both conveniently leave out the fact that it was James that made the court document public that I was going to be looking into. It, actually, you don't even mention him at all in the first video, but you bring him up in the second one. Dude, I don't remember this video that well. Why? Okay, I have a genuine question. Yeah. Why do cool. you still care about this video after three years, even though you made your response? People keep bringing it up. Then tell them to stop bringing it up. It's a repeated discussion thing. I have a, I have a whole thing about it where it's like, like recently. Then why do you um, keep talking about it? Because people keep using your lies or the misconceptions that are, you know, that came from your video that I was trying to dox slimmers or that I deleted tweets to hide things or that I tried sending Sherman to dox you or that I was still going after slimmers. All those claims that came from the Ponder collab, the Mad Libs video the Lucy video initially. Uh, all those claims keep coming from that. All those claims are a reoccurring thing. And then you are just like, oh, we're just going to pack up and walk away like nothing happened here. And this isn't the first time I've tried to have a conversation with you all. I've approached you all multiple from times to have a conversation. Times, the several different DMs that you've sent me. Um, one of which three, said yeah. you have 24 hours. I said 24 to 48 because I was editing the video at the time, and this was specifically the video, uh, it was specifically the video that was made, um, right around the time the Mad Libs Lies Again video. Do you not where... understand how threatening that message is? You had you been ignoring me the hours. entire time beforehand. If I joined your you Discord, I would 24 hours to, uh, to, for the truth to come out with like, and not only that, but this was from an alt account. That you didn't I, state your name. Was, I didn't know no, who you were. No, the alt had my name in it. All of my alts no, had my not. name in it. All of my alts, except for the Noodle Cup Boy, that one that we discussed on, have the my alt name. The alt on Twitter, it. too? Yeah, I, I'm pretty certain it did. And if not, I always because think Because I remember it was me talking to you through that account, and you said that you Talk don't have time to make alt right. accounts for me. And I said, you okay. And then you DM'd me. <clears throat> you never replied to that. You just left it. 
That's why I made the video. Why would I respond to DMs from a random person on Twitter? I you just said you replied to it. So did you not reply to it or did you I replied reply to, to your tweet, not the DM. In the tweets okay. that we were messaging each other, you said, I don't have time to make all the counts for you. And I was like, okay. And then you sent that DM and I'm like, I don't know who this is. And then I left it. If you're talking about the um, the account that I had that has screenshots with the, like, the Shigaraki profile pic, you never responded to any of those tweets. I'm you talking about them. the DMs that you sent when you quote tweeted something about woke movies on one of the tweets that I made. Yeah, that was on the Shigaraki account, which you never replied to. Yes, I did. I replied to it. We never had an interaction on that. I, yes, I kept replying to you, but you never replied to anything. That was I actually literally funny. sent you memes. Do either of you have screen caps of this interaction? No. I don't have that account anymore. Okay. So at this point, it's word versus word. Um, <coughs> we probably could still find Nezzy's tweets. If you replied to it, yeah. What's the name of that I account? I could have sworn that I did. I remember the interaction. I know you will reply to me with memes in like 2019, but. Well, Akuma, do you remember the name of the account that you're using? Um, hold on, I can pull it up. Because I can do a search for it right now. It's suspended, so. That's fine, but I can still see Nezzy's tweets. Okay, perfect. Yeah, if we can, if we can get the tag, we can search up Nezzy's Twitter. Because it was one of the uh, accounts that was specifically brought up in Madlib's video. Because I could have sworn that I did. This was like way after the video had been deleted. Way I after got, the like, video had been deleted? Tweet. Yeah, because this was like last year. The only account that I used to reach out to you last year was the... Um... You have come to me with three different accounts. Yeah, three different... I don't, I don't remember know. any of them. I don't know why you kept trying to contact me when I actively didn't want to talk to you. Because you kept lying about me. And then no, I did not. I would... Yes, you did. I don't talk about you. I don't care about you. Okay. okay. After what, the video was done, after the video was done, I was done with everything. You can respond, and if you're telling the truth, then there is your truth. But after that, I don't fucking talk about you unless you come to me. And that's it. I don't give a single... I mean this in the nicest way. I don't give a single shit about you. I just want to move on. And I'm tired of you constantly coming to my DMs, coming to my streams, with your friends. I, I haven't... Hold and on. And coming into coming my to chat. streams? Hold on. What? You followed me on one of the streams. I came to, I came to one stream, which was yours and Toby's. That was one it. One of that... You came to two. I... No. Uh, you, no, no. I there was yours and Toby's, and no, then no, I showed no. up in one with Mad Libs. Which wasn't no, even you about you, up. that was me fucking with Lucy. No, you showed up in the stream with Toby, and then you showed up on one of my Pokemon streams, I remember, because you followed it with two different accounts, which was o uh, uh, Kumu and Nightmare. Oh, hold on, or hold Villain on. Lord or some uh, shit. On, on your Twitch stream? Yes. I have one Twitch account. I don't ever remember. The Kumu one, yeah. The, the whole Nightmare one, I don't know where it you got villainous. that from. It said Villainous. Which I remember I from your Twitter one handle. Twitch account. Yeah, but I've only had one Twitch account to reach out, and I don't remember even... Maybe I commented on one of them, but I know no, that I... No, you didn't I comment. Interacted you followed me. I remember this very clearly. You followed me. Can I... Can I... Yeah, I had to... I had to ban that account. <laughs> can you I get... followed me on Akumu, and you followed me on Villainous. I remember following you with one of them, yeah. I don't remember following you another one. Can I get the name of the I Twitter? specifically remember Villainous. Yeah, also. Yeah, I'm pulling it up now. <laughs> Thank you. Here she's claiming that I showed up at least two different times to her streams to fuck with her under Akumu and Villainous. I went through all of my email accounts, and I only have one Twitch account, which is under Villainous. And what she's referring to happened in 2020, a little bit after her and Nezzy's collab. It's weird for her not to remember that, but to remember me showing up to her stream three years ago. This is a fine example out of many that you'll see of the topic being switched the second I start to get into the details of the lies and accusations that she made. She diverts the topic to me fucking with her in 2020. I haven't showed up to a single stream of hers since then. The more recent examples of me fucking with her have been on Twitter with me bringing up the lies and allegations that she made and then watching her lie about them. <laughs> okay, I so I have to pull it up from the video itself. Couple of things I want to make. The only time 
Sorry, what? One couple things I want to make a bit clearer here is we need to like try not to go back and forth on something in terms of like from the initial discussion. He's, while this is important, the... while this is important, and I do agree, it needs to address. Um, I also need to state, just for the record, all right, this isn't going to be sounding nice, and I'm sorry for that, but this is the truth. Teddy declined to come here, and I'm not happy about that. And the reason why I'm not happy about that is I don't think it's a good idea. I, I try not to use the word fair because, you know, I don't really believe in that concept. But I think that it is unproductive to continue to ask Nezzy things about Teddy when Teddy has chosen not to be here. That's going to stick in my craw because now I know Teddy has been involved in this and Teddy did not, intentionally did not show up. Because they said they weren't going to show even before the time was stated. I didn't, <clears throat> I didn't have full knowledge of them being involved in this, and I'm not happy to hear that. Uh, very, it's very lightly. Teddy wasn't involved with the rest of the antics of the group, but she was like subtle. She was a little bit involved with the situation in regards to the server. Yeah, but that's still a pretty mm -hmm. damning claim that Teddy has made that needs to be answered for, in my opinion, especially when the Sherman clowns involved. Either way, I don't like that. I don't like the idea that. Um, questions about Teddy are here and Teddy has chosen to not appear. That's going to bother me and I just wanted to state for the record that that was a choice Teddy made. Well, so Sherman found... aside, he's arrested, so... Based? I well, found... Arrest what? He's gotten That's... arrested. Well, we have reason to believe he might be. We haven't actually gotten anything confirmed. Hmm. Okay. Now, all I need um, is the Twitter account name, please. Uh... At V I one one A capital, I think that's a capital I in zero US. Just like a weird way of spelling for ladies. That was the one that I interacted with uh Nezzy on it. So V I one one A I N zero US. Yep. It's not showing me. I anything. don't remember the names of all the Twitter accounts you've come to me with. Let me so. let me just look up the Twitter account itself and see if it shows anything. I forgot to mention, uh, I stated this to my therapist, um, I'm giving this call 30 minutes to an hour for the sake of my own. One, because um, <clears throat> to put this into perspective, right, ever since this situation has happened, and I'm not saying this to make you feel guilty, I'm saying this, or as an excuse, I'm saying this as someone who has realized a lot, I have bipolar disorder, and I'm on a lot of meds, and it's currently 2 a.m., Okay. No, I get it. I get it. Um, it that's not accurate, Akuma, because that's a currently active account. So some, hold on. So something, something's not spelled right here. <clears throat> you want a screenshot? Please do. Okay. Just gonna move it over from my laptop. Like I just, I want to get this sorted, man. Like I don't. No, I get it. I get. It. I do have some other questions in regards to the FCK server, though. Yeah, I've I've heard about um, the FCK thing. I was in there and I'm not in there anymore. Um, yeah, a, lot a lot of people, people left, left that server feeling like shit because Toasty was an asshole to everybody. There was a lot of stuff that happened that you don't know about. Well, um, okay. okay, fair enough. A few of the things. Um, there was a lot of shit going on between Toasty and Teddy. It's not my place to say that. Between me and Toasty, there was a lot of uncomfortable stuff. He did uncomfortable stuff with uh, Libby. Not my story to tell, but I he they did a lot of shit in the server well, that um, was very uncomfortable. In regards to Libby, the only thing I can comment on is that in the video that she released uh, in September, she said mm -hmm. that she, you all dropped contact with him, but she didn't stop talking with him until two weeks after the video. Uh, that's the only thing I can say on well, I don't, I don't know that timeline. I want to be clear here. Um, one, these videos were a long time ago. Two, I never watched the Mad Libs video. I put my thing in and then I left because I wanted to leave the situation because I was very uncomfortable with everything. That's not an excuse. I acknowledge that a lot of this could have been easily prevented, but I have severe anxiety and depression. And during that time, a lot of shit was going on. There was the Toby situation. I was getting new meds at the time. I'm not saying this to make you feel bad or as an excuse. I'm saying I take full responsibility for everything that happened and everything that's been said. But there are other things that were going on at the time that made everything very difficult. For one thing, when I was DMing you, uh, sorry that I cut you off very fast. I was getting my phone replaced that same exact day. 
Well, are you talking about in the DMs with on the Noodle Cup Boy account? Yeah, on the Noodle Cup Boy. I was I showed my dad the DMs and everything, and I got his opinion about it. And it's like I really need to cut this conversation short because I'm going to replace this phone. It's broken. The screen was broken. It's also old. Mood. Well, I wasn't really particularly bothered by you cutting things off. I was more so bothered by you bringing up like irrelevant accusations Lucy made out of nowhere into the discussion because of the, the Teddy situation. That was more so what I was bothered about. But Fair enough. For context, when me and Nezzy were DMing one another on the Noodle Cup Boy account, which I have shown screenshots from before, she randomly brought up accusations Lucy made, accusing me of accusing him of being a pedophile because I pointed out that he has this weird liking to pornography of underage fictional characters. So, um... Alright, I got the screenshot. I'm just moving it over. Thank you. <laughs> <coughs> no, I know that I this is like a very about the FCK server itself mm -hmm. because uh, one thing in particular is um, the doxing claim that you all made in regards to like slimmers and the private document stuff. Mm -hmm. When you all made it, sure you may not have had a whole lot of evidence uh, because I deleted the initial tweet, but you clearly combed through my feed for all the tweets regarding the situation. But you passed up several of, actually, some of the tweets you didn't even pass up. You read in the video, but you ignored them. Um, and then the other ones you all you you passed up of clarifying that it wasn't a doxing attempt; that it was just looking into something that James put out. And you all knew that he put it out because you mentioned in the second video. It's very subtly admitted, but it's it's brought up in the second video, but it's nowhere in the first video. You guys also don't bring up like D'Angelo Wallace being the progenitor of the whole claim to begin with, uh, which. I thought was odd. So you accuse me of lying by omission, but you leave James out of it and don't mention him at all. And the first 10, I think it's like the first 10 minutes of it is like the, the first entire 10 minutes of you is just you all literally like building up the whole claim of, of, of doxing. And you base it off of a tweet where I said, until I have, uh, until she confesses, I have full intentions, but you let and you read the entire thread. You had majesty read it. It was Majesty and another individual. I cannot remember oh, the name. They go and, by Clown uh, now. Okay. And you all had to read the entire interaction, and I clarified multiple times in the, in the interaction it wasn't a doxing attempt. I was just looking into information that's already put out. But then when uh, it gets to the point of getting into the whole um, conspiracy that I'm deleting everything to hide it all, even though I didn't delete any of the other tweets regarding it, um you decide to ignore that and go with the until she confesses I have full intentions as evidence I am intending to dox her. And it becomes a reoccurring thing throughout the video. Like, actually, throughout both videos, it's brought up. Um, I would need Ponder here to verify these things because I haven't watched the video since it was put out, and I don't remember any of this. Ponder probably hasn't been online today because once I got the message that you confirmed that noon is okay... I messaged them and let them know, and they haven't responded. So they're probably off touching grass. Ah, uh, so be it. It's like I'm. I'm sorry if this is not what you want to hear. But no, this, it is what it is. It's was, a conversation. Yeah, I know. It's like this was this was three years ago, and I don't remember this. I don't keep track of everything. I don't take screenshots of every DM I've ever had. I don't remember every video I've ever made, because once the thing is done, it's done for me. Well, the, the only reason I am so adamant about it and so and have the details is specifically because people keep bringing it up. Um, then tell the them the situation. Off. It was brought up it, it, fucking last year. It was brought up a few like I think a month and a half ago. It was brought up again. So it's it's not like something where I can just pack up and walk away like you guys did because the claims that I tried to dox people that I uh, sent doxers after people, all of that stuff was purported by you all and you guys just walked away at least most of you did there's lucy just took the video down and then he all oh, the mad libs said that I, I bullied lucy into taking the video down despite the fact that i lucy willingly took the video down i like we had a whole dm discussion where it was like i think you should leave the video up no i feel like taking it down but regardless it was claimed that i i bullied lucy into taking it down 
the best advice that I can give you to all the people, if if what you're saying is the truth, and you have shown people this, then tell them to fuck off. I don't know why you gotta drag me into this. Who keeps bringing this stuff to you, Akuma? Just various people. Various people all over. Then tell them to fuck off. Well, they're using either your and Ponder's videos, or the, the Mad Libs video, even though the Mad Libs video was taken down, they're using the archive of it. Um... And, and have if been. your evidence is enough, and it, if your evidence is enough, it would. I guarantee them of you to your audience, it's not. I could, I could whip out evidence for days, and I have before in conversations with them. It doesn't matter. She's basically saying, you know, what does that have to do with me? That's them. And that is fair. But also, she is the origin of the claim. She and Ponder are the ones that made the claim, that propagated the claims, that made them as popular as they are. The only reason you have so many of these fucking artards repeating it is because of her and Ponder. They always point to those two videos. It doesn't matter if it's a lie. It doesn't matter if evidence contradicts it. For them, if those two said it, it is law. It is truth. They're going to repeat it. As this conversation is happening in the VC, there is a gallery context chat discussion going on that we'll talk about right after that proves my point about this, that evidence is entirely irrelevant, that they will make excuses and just cling to whatever Ponder and Ezzy said. Then tell them to fuck off. Why are they? If you are that convinced in your own point, then tell them to fuck off. Well, not just that. Just why are they even coming to you, Akumu? Do you have any idea why? Just people don't like me. It is what it is. Is it in Discord? I mean, you insult a lot of people, so. That is true. That is true. Uh, It's on Discord. It's on YouTube. I can get into a random beef with someone, like the, the most random, dumbest shit ever, and they'll whip it out. I see. Like, Akumo, I'm going to say this to be nice. One of the major reasons why people don't like you is because you treated a lot of people poorly. I'm not saying people can't like me. That's ridiculous. I, I, it's not that. Uh, I'm sending the screenshot in uh, the gallery. Thank you. The, well, the, the other point is the fact that people are less inclined to believe you when you treat them poorly. That's the thing, man. That's that's the thing. You don't have to be nice. You don't have to be a goody oh, two shoes. It didn't. But what? but like Just when you me. mistreat people, the less inclined they are to believe you when you say something. I don't think saying mean things should inherently disqualify you when you have evidence of things. Well, I know that it shouldn't, but that's just how people work. Well, not just that. It also depends on what mean things you say. Like, okay, so for example. Oh, the screenshot I sent to you because it didn't go in the gallery Thank chat. You. I'll make my point and then I'll go look up that as best as I can. If I put out a video about a child predator and I litter the video with slurs and speaking negatively of trans people, it does not matter how strong my evidence is against the child predator. People are going to immediately be turned off because of my presentation and my attitude. And the fact that I'm using words that are going to um, disconnect a lot of people. I insult people pretty regularly too. But you have to be cognizant of what insults you are using and whether or not it's a detriment to your point or if it enhances your point. For example, you see the nonsense I'm dealing with right now, well, tangentially, not in depth, with Cass and his crew. I can call Cass a cowardly pussy all day long because that's that adds to my point because he is one and I demonstrate that. But if I call Cass... Like a, a car thief, that's a detriment to all the stuff I'm bringing because I'm not able to prove he's a car thief and it's a pointless thing to bring up or grand larceny or computer hacking or whatever. I know you use different phrases, ones I obviously don't use, but I'm trying to illustrate that point. So let me look up this other villainous and see if I can go from there. The other thing I want to make clear is that I'm not lying about you. There's a difference between mis- being misinformed. And yeah, there's a difference between misinformed and actively lying. You claimed that I deleted multiple tweets before my account was suspended, meaning that you're saying that you've seen my feed before my entire account was suspended where they'd no longer be seen. That I had deleted them before the account was suspended. Yet when I log into that same suspended account, the tweets are still there. That is an outright lie. 
That is multiple outright lies. It is not my fault you and Ponder fucked yourselves by stating that I deleted them before I was suspended, because that removed any and all deniability you could have had to say that you were just misinformed. Because if you saw my feed, like you claim you did, before my account was suspended, you would know that I didn't delete them. Yet you claimed that I did otherwise to push the narrative that I was trying to hide something. Well, I think it's... Okay, the lying by omission, okay? That was specifically used against me, so I'm going to whip this one out now. When you were specifically leaving out that you made the accusation two times after you had the evidence and then saying you didn't have the evidence, it's kind of lying by omission. Uh, if I may, I was, in a, I was in a call when Nezzy went back and looked for those DMs. Nezzy didn't even know that they still had the DMs open. What Doodles is saying is that, oh, Nezzy thought she lost the DMs, but turns out she still had them. This is going to be important in just a bit. Also, why Who's did you come on my birthday post? We, uh, was that recently? That was like a couple, that was like a year back. I made a birthday post and you came onto it. What was the point I of that? Remember, I don't remember the birthday post, but I might have. Okay, so I'm going to ask. What was the point of that? Go ahead. I don't remember the post, so I wouldn't be able to tell you. Probably just fucking with you. Yeah, that's what I thought. It's genuinely delusional to try and play the victim card after you got together with a group of people and lied about someone for a year, and then they start making fun of you. Real quick, um, Nezzy, did you by any chance change your Twitter handle in the past year or two in any way, shape, or no. form? No. Okay. Because the only one no. I can find between you and that account is somebody named E Mira One tagging both of you. Doesn't look like you two interacted directly with that account. I see hitting latest with just villainous different accounts and conversations, but I don't see you two interacting. It's why I don't think it was that account. I don't remember the account that I talked to. Do you remember any details about the account that could help me figure out which one? Profile, no. picture, name? Why do you Damn. have multiple Twitter accounts? I get banned very often. Yeah, that... My last two haven't been, so... Hmm. This is why I can't remember every account that you've ever messaged me on. I do remember what you're talking about, though, with the message in regards to the 24-hour thing. That was about the uh, video made in either 2021 or 2. Because I want to be very clear here in that I don't remember. I don't do the thing that a lot of commentators do because I don't care. I don't screenshot everything. I don't remember everything. And I don't keep track of everything unless I think it's absolutely necessary. Most of the time it's not because it's mostly just internet bullshit. So I don't remember, out of the many Twitter accounts that you have come to me with, which one it was. And this was such a long time ago. That, that's fine. I'm not saying you should. I'm just... What my point of contention is, people keep bringing stuff up, and then any time I ever approach you, whether they be just fucking with you or like genuinely trying to get some something, some kind of conversation going, this is a, a recurring thing that I've had with all of all of you all. So here's the thing. You admit that you purposely come with me to fuck with me, and you expect me to differentiate the times when you're fucking Afterwards, with me and when you're talking to me. Initially, most of the, actually, the, the, my first initial attempts to talk with you, whether that be on the Doodle Cup Boy or, uh, for example, that Twitter account there, I specifically tweeted at you to get a conversation going. You never replied to any of them, and that was even talked about in the Mad Libs video. where it was Because just... this wasn't happening during the video. The video was made, you followed me around, and didn't DM me. And then, I DM'd you multiple when, this, times. when this server situation happens, then you DM me. I remember you DMing with me with How's That L, and that's it. No, I DM'd you on Twitter prior to that. No, you did when not. The, when I the initial situation that. happened, when the initial situation happened, when the whole when the videos were initially made, that year of 2020, I tried to reach out to multiple people, including you. I tried to reach out to uh, Mad Libs for a discussion. I'm willing to bet I can find that somewhere on an alt account. Um, I tried to reach out to her for a conversation. I tried to reach out to you for a conversation. I tried to reach out to fucking uh, when Xena banned me from her server out of nowhere when she was previously fine with me when we were chill. I tried talking with her about the situation and it went nowhere. 
You so, yeah, once admitted that you go to multiple people to fuck with them and you expect us all to differentiate. I started, trying to be I started fucking with you all after nothing happened. Like You've the been tweets fucking that I with us the you? entire time. No, I wasn't. Yes, you The majority have. of my, my fucking. No, hold on. When? Name an example of like during you the situation. You come into my or comment before. section and you just keep putting comment after comment and attacking other people in my comments that I had to ban you from my comment section. You heard it here, folks. Making fun of other people is now making fun of her. You go into you go into Ponder's stream and start spamming shit to where she has to ban you. You come onto my Twitch and you follow me around. I know. Okay, one, I don't spam. I don't spam the same text. Then why over did Ponder have to ban you? I didn't spam the same text over and over again. This also, is the I same didn't say thing you that I'm. Um... The same text over and over. I'm saying that you spammed her with various different comments. I'm not saying you spammed her, but I'm saying you spammed her. What she means to say is, I showed up, I said some mean things, but I didn't spam it over and over and over again, and she's conflating it as spamming. I didn't spam the chat. I just talked. That was it. I just interacted, had fun. I didn't spam the chat like a lot of people you all like to repeatedly claim that i raided your chats madlib said the same thing with the lucy i never uh, said that the... you raided my chat i said that you wouldn't i'm leave saying me the you all alone. liked to raid i said you all claimed that i i raided your your streams constantly i did not claim that you raided my streams i claimed that you wouldn't leave me alone she just said that i spammed ponder's chat there's that then Zena, who claimed that I raided or spammed her live stream, which didn't happen. I asked her basic fucking questions, and she threw a tantrum. But we'll talk about that another time. Then in Mad Libs' video, she repeatedly claimed that I spammed all these other chats. That's what a raid is. One of the points that was brought up in 2020, specifically in the Mad Libs video, was that I would repeatedly show up and raid your all streams. And this then video was that supposed wasn't to be my claim. That's your problem with Libby, not with me. The video I was didn't made write to speak for all of you. No, it was not. It was meant to speak for us separately, which is why everyone had their own points. So, okay. I wasn't video... a part of the making of the video. I only contributed that one part, which I really regret and I apologize for. I wasn't a part of the script. I didn't read the script. I didn't watch the video. But you were a part of the, the FCK group chat. Were they? Yes. Still. Which had nothing to do with you. And yeah, you're right. Initially it didn't. And then it became a whole... Actually, Toasty even said this at one point, that all your guys' conversations came about me. That's even... Well, that's in not it. true. He's, and then, he's lying. And then... No, no, I'm saying this This was said in the FCK server. And I have the whole thing, and there's like several mentions of me. Was but, this when I was in the server? Yeah, this was when you were in there. Because I this left... Is, and also, there are a thousand different channels in that server, and I didn't keep track of every single one. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. I do so have a you, question. So you think that I was a part of every single conversation about you? No, I don't think I you were I was barely in that server to begin one. with. I remember being in two calls, and that's it. I don't think you were a part of every single one, but I think you were part of some pretty important ones. I'll give you an example. So there's a, there's a screenshot that ended up in Lucy's video that came out, um, I think, two days after uh, the Ponder Club. And uh, it was a screenshot with the tweet in question that I deleted. Now, I, for a while, I wondered, you know, why it wasn't in your all's video, considering you had it. And then I learned from being in the FCK server that you got it, that you got it on the 9th and shared it with the server. I don't remember now, sharing would... anything with the server. Do you want me to grab screenshots? Please. I don't remember it. Why okay. would I do that? Yes, I would like a screenshot. I'm like, I'm not saying that you're lying. It's just I have no memory of this. Okay, mm. I'll grab a screenshot. Um, here it is. Where are all these screenshots? In the FCK server. No, no, no. In this, in this server. He hasn't posted it yet. Uh, do you want me? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm pulling it over to my phone now. Because my. Computers. Why do all of you have so many fucking chats? Why? Okay. Every server I'm in has so many different groups. Well, just... And call groups. Yes. We, we have a lot of random calls that happen here, and some of them are different. So it's a pretty large server. We're like over 600 members. Uh, point of order, we have about 20 minutes before time's up. Okay, I'm going to move the screenshots over. Thank you, Lumi. Why is there a DM that says 80s yaoi legs? What? 
I don't know. Why was I added here? To what? I was added in the content showcase. Okay, that's on me. Uh, I accidentally clicked off the channel and added you. You doofus. Oh. <laughs> I don't know how- I'm not good with technology, man. I'm, I'm not terrible. talking about Listen, you, talk about Lumi. I'll... Yeah, I'll admit when I'm wrong, old man. Doofus. I can't say what I want to say. I know. You'll be okay. Okay, do you want this in DMs or do you want this in the chat? Chat, please. In the chat. Okay. Which one are you throwing it in? Uh, gallery context. It's right above this call. Where the f- It's, it's literally the okay. room right above this call. It's gonna be okay. Too many of these goddamn things. Why? I, I just told you why. It is yeah. four screenshots in total of the discussion in regards to the screenshot. So that was the screenshot that was providing clarification that I wasn't trying to get um, any information that he wasn't, that was trying to dox her. That was the original tweet that I had before I deleted it. Presumably you got it from the Gregor Eblen. Maybe you didn't. Um, uh, Gregor Eblen does have it and he resent it. Okay. The context of that tweet, I believe, was um, I got a DM forever ago. This was after the video was made where someone brought up an interesting point in that because you claimed that you had the case files, which would have been one incredibly illegal because the person in question was a minor and those cases are locked from the public. Is the point that they brought up. Yeah. Which so, the case well, was made public by uh, James. You all admit this in the, the part two video. Yeah, but the, the the number was public. The case files in and of themselves were not accessible. And I didn't say that I had the case file, just that I was looking yes, you into did. it. You said that no. you had the case files in the video. No, I didn't. I said I was looking into it. Yes, and at the end did. of the video, I specifically said at the end with James... That I was also again looking into it, which I don't you know why you guys. You said at one point that you had the case files in the video. I remember this. No, what was discussed though was uh, Mad Libs, the interaction with Mad Libs, where Mad Libs claimed that I said I had it, and then I corrected her and said, "No, I never said I had it." The details about the doxing accusation cannot stay consistent to save their own fucking lives. In Nezzy and Ponder's two-part collaboration, they vaguely put it as, I was just looking into private information. I was just trying to get private information. So, you didn't technically attempt to dox anybody. You were just asking if there was somebody out there who could dox her for you. And the contradiction will come up a little bit later, but it has to do with him making note that someone out there should be able to answer his question and provide Slimmers' private information to him. Which is basically him not committing the crime, but asking someone to do it for him. Which doesn't make you innocent, my guy. Also, I'm not surprised these people thought that. You don't ask for someone's personal information on a public fucking forum. That's what we call being suspicious. Oh yeah, by the way, if anyone has the personal info of that minor who was being harassed by a larger YouTuber, hit me up. Which is hilarious, considering his bias against Lemurs is very apparent from him openly harassing her and asking other people to send him her private information. Then in the screenshots, I was apparently looking for her phone number despite the fact that madame publicly put her phone number out there and now she's claiming that i claimed to have actually had possession of the case file but there's been this weird like flip floppity and i don't mean flip floppity in a way that's like malicious just a flip floppity um discussion in regards to whether it being the case that i was looking into or the phone number and here in the screenshots, you say it was me trying to get her phone number, which I don't know where you would have got that from, because in the video, that's not even brought up at all. You just keep, you all keep saying private information. Uh, I remember you number. asking how to get in contact with Slimmers to get the case files. That's what I remember. I never asked that. I I remember you asking information so that you could get, you could get the case files. You just that, said you were right wanting there. to look into the case files. That's the tweet right there, but I never went yes. to Slimmers and wanted to reach out to Slimmers. Actually, the closest thing I, I... There was one point I wanted to reach out to Slimmers, and I did so on Twitter. I didn't do so through a phone number or attempt to do so. And why would I... Hold on. My question is, if it was about a phone number and I was trying to get her phone number, why would I try and get her phone number when Madame already made it public? Why were you trying to get her records? Because I was looking into everything. Why were you I looking into her case files? That had nothing to do with anything. It was brought up in James's video. What do you mean? It was not something that you had to look into. 
it was something that was brought up in James's video, so I was trying to. Look I don't give every... a shit if it was brought up in James's video. Why did you feel the need to look into? And then it's not something it that was a part of the fight. initial situation. Okay, hold on. Firstly, why did you feel the need to look into a legal case when you're covering YouTube art drama? I was just looking into everything about it. Okay, so gonna ask you a hypothetical here. I'm currently involved in drama between this server, myself, and Castle War Fox. So if you found out that I had a speeding ticket, would you go look for that? Me personally or like if you were if you if you were looking into this, would you if you found out I had a speeding ticket, would you go look up the speeding ticket? One. If someone in the art drama scene accused someone else of having a speeding ticket, to verify that information, you would have to look up and see if there was a speeding ticket attached to their legal name. Two, while Nezzy wants to say that it's not that important, James's video is extremely important to the context of her doxing accusation. And not only that, but he was important enough for them to bring up in part two, let alone repeatedly reference. Nowadays, no, but back then that was like the first situation I ever dealt with, so I was just trying to look into everything. And even then I still made mistakes. Well, yeah, you were what, a kid? Can you explain the, um, the daddy wanted a little fun comment? That wasn't, actually, you all claimed that I added Slimmers to shame her with it, but... No, here's the that's not what I'm it. saying. I'm saying what you said in your video, just because yeah, daddy wanted to have that, a little fun. I didn't say that on my video, it was a tweet. No, it was, you it was, said that yes, in a video. Either no, it was a tweet. Video or tweet. So you're admitting you that you still said it. It was a tweet Regardless. that you all claimed that I tagged Slimmers to mock her for it. And then here's the kicker. Slimmers was never added in it. So the screenshot that you all provide, that you all continuously provided that had Slimmers' at was photoshopped because her app I, was never in there. It was not photoshopped. She says it isn't photoshopped. Okay. Let's take a look at the tweet they love to use so much. When I signed back in and found the tweet itself, Slimmers' Twitter ad is nowhere to be seen. So where did it possibly come from? If I didn't tag her, how did their screenshot that only came from them have her Twitter ad in it? Her ad was, was never in the tweet. Also, you said it in the video. I remember it specifically because we go on a tangent about I, you no, saying No, I discussed, I discussed the tweet, but I never said it. No, about the daddy wanted a little fun comment. Can I, I remember us talking about this. Can I get some context about why that was said? Uh, someone specifically, someone named Judith on Twitter, uh, in a interaction when I was pointing out that Slimmer's, um had uh, in a story or Instagram thing, basically did the same thing, which was telling people to continue going at Madame, but no one talked about that. Um, she brought up that Slimmers was like sexually assaulted, and so that was somehow in a justification for her behavior in the drama. It was like this Judith or Edith, Edith person, Edith Edith person on Twitter. That was the context of that conversation, which conveniently got cut out by Lucy and by Mad Libs. Not, I wouldn't really blame Nezzy for that one, but okay, the I'm, I'm one thing you, I've always wondered. I'm asking you what's up? why you said. Daddy wanted to have a little fun. No, I said because Daddy tried to have his pathetic fun. That's what I said. Yeah, that's still not a good statement. Like, what the heck were you thinking? I didn't thinking? say it was. Like, then why did you just, say oh. it? I just explained to you why I said it. The interaction between me and the individual was them trying to use the that's fact that That's not explaining why you said it. That's exactly That's... why I'm explaining why I said it. No, what happened. you're not explaining why you said something so fucking disgusting. Is, is the reason you said it because you wanted to dig at the person? No, I wasn't no, digging at the person, no. Because if I was trying to do that, then I would. If I was digging at the person, I would have tagged Slimmers, which they claimed I did, but I didn't. What was said, I specifically said it the way I did because I was pissed off because the fact that they were using that the whole thing as, oh, well, she couldn't have done anything wrong in this situation because of... She was sexually harassed. Had nothing to do with that. How was that even an argument? So yeah, I was irritated by it. That's why I said it. Also, that wasn't the argument that was being made. The reason why people were bringing it up was because Madame was spreading it around without Summers' permission. No, I know that wasn't the argument being made. That was just a argument I had an interaction with that you all took and used and then slapped Summers' ad into it. I don't remember doing that. Also, none of the then of them were photoshopped. Okay. In the screenshot itself, this is in Lucy's video, 
it's on all the way the back. All the ones that I remember, the screenshots that I remember, was the one that we found. The yeah, one that we found, the, the one, the one, one that we found you all on supposedly just found had the ad of Slimmers in it. But when I go to the situation on Twitter itself, I have a screenshot of the tweet. Her ad's nowhere in it. She wasn't even in the fucking discussion. Okay, so let's assume. But you're still talking about her. Yeah, let's assume you didn't tag Slimmers. My point isn't whether you tagged her or not. That's a dicked up thing to say, and you should have had the sense not to say it. No, yeah, I agree. I'm not, I even had a conversation with Slimmers about this. This is something that me and her One talked tag. about. Uh, small question. Uh, What's up? Small question. Did you see the tag as in people involved in the conversation, or was Slimmers directly tagged? She wasn't in it at tweet? all. When I clicked the thread, she wasn't in the thread at all. No, no, she no, was no, in no. it previously, but I'm I untagged. I will repeat my question because I, I guess it's difficult to understand what I mean. Those of you who saw it tagged, was it was Slimmers tagged in the upper part as part of the conversation or directly tagged within the tweet? I don't remember. Uh, hold on, let me pull okay. up the video. Because the reason I'm asking, and it would explain why Akuma here got to see it without the tag and some of you saw it with the tag, is if it was just part of the conversation, Slimmers could have manually just tagged it as remove me from conversation. It is a feature on Twitter. Well, I thought I'd bring yeah, this up. It um, seems like something that could uh, actually explain well, something the, rather than, you know, keep going in circles. That that could be a good explanation, and I talked about that in my, my response video to the Mad Libs video. Um, the whole remove feature thing. She could have, but then that would have done so throughout the other tweets. So the tweets above that one in that thread have her added in it. Okay, but in terms of that one specifically, I didn't add her in it. I only added the the um, the Judith or Edith individual. And so then in the think... screenshot that they have, somehow her at's in it, even though I didn't add her in it. That was that was my point in regards to that. Also, I don't necessarily like being called a dumb bitch, but all right. What? You talking from about from the video? video? Yes. Oh, okay. Are you watching? I didn't watch it. Teddy watched it. Okay. Oh, okay. So, she didn't appreciate being called a dumb bitch, and I didn't appreciate being lied about or allegations being made up about me. Are you noticing the disconnect here? She's more concerned about the mean things said about her and her friends, while I'm more concerned about the lies about me. We're winding down. We're almost out of time here. Do we have anything else we need to cover that's of actual significance to all of this? I do have questions regarding the FCK server. I'm not asking about the whole toasty stuff, because that, again, is your all stuff to handle. All right, let's go um, ahead and lightning round that sucker then. So I can send evidence for this if you want. The problem is, is that it's porn. We're all and, 18. Uh, We're all over 18 here. There are no children in this server. Okay. But thank okay, you for checking. Perfect. So um, there was a lot of porn sent in that server. And this is just one issue that I had that I've discussed previously is that a lot of, well, Mad Libs, I can say this about Mad Libs. Initially, her server had a lot of Myers and a lot of porn in it that they had access to. That was also a problem with Lucy's server. And you all, well, okay, I won't say you all because I'm not going to rope you in with it, but I'll talk about the group. Uh, and I have questions specifically because you've seen it and you were in an interaction when they were sending porn. And the only thing that you sent was a little holy water meme. You didn't say anything about the fact that, well, Teddy at the time was like 16 or 17. Slimmers was 15 or yeah, 15 at the time. And then James was like 16. And th th those aren't, weren't the only miners in that, that, that Discord, but those are the three I can confirm at the time. And there was like just a fuck ton of porn sent in the server. Madlib sent porn, Lucy sent porn, Toasty sent a lot of porn, he sent the most of it. Um, what is what is with the, the, the porn spamming? I don't know. He would do that in our conversations yes. too. Well, he wasn't the only one that did it. Was it was just kind of... I know. It was just kind of the environment that Toasty, like, built. I do yeah, remember that. Yeah, and there that. were NSFW-specific chats. I don't like the fact that he had an NSFW chat specifically for Slimmers for her art. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, um, the NSFW... Which is one of the reasons like, why I left. ...led out of the NSFW chat. Nezzy Monster and Noodle Tones are shifting the blame onto Toasty Vanilla. That it was the environment Toasty made. If the two of them are the holier-than-thou individuals that they love to present themselves as when they try to get onto others, why didn't they say something for months? Why did Nezzy only send a meme about holy water eye drops after they spammed the main chat with porn? Oh, wait a second, there was something said. 
On July 28th of 2020, after the FCK kicked out Ben the Looney, Teddy the Draws told the FCK in their VC text chat that Ben the Looney was sending people after Toasty Vanilla. Ben the Looney had screenshots from the FCK server showing the porn they sent into the server and the server chats that miners had access to. The fact that they were tagging some of the miners to show them porn, and that they had a chat dedicated to Solomers' NSFW artwork. Something that Nezzy mentioned before in this same call, and evidence that Ben shared with me around this same time. Three days later, July 31st, and Nezzy told Toasty Vanilla to remove the porn chats. For months, none of them said anything about it. The very common behavior of sharing porn in the server when it had multiple miners in it, spamming it even. And yet something was only said and done when they found out that it might become public knowledge and pose a threat to the group. Huh. Sounds oddly familiar. What other FCK member have I talked about that knowingly had a degenerate discord where miners had access to porn among a myriad of other shit and didn't do anything about it until they knew it was going to become public knowledge? Unfortunately, like there's, um, I, think example, that's, I think that's primarily a question I, that you'd have to ask Toasty more than anybody else. Yeah, he he recently answered answer. a question I had, but he is not a very... Um, not very he doesn't have a very good track record, to be honest. No. I yeah, I don't trust Toasty either because I found out later on that he faked screenshots between Peaches and Toby to get them to fight. For whatever fucking reason. I don't know why. I don't know what his deal was. He did this with me and Teddy. He did it with uh, Toby and Peaches. He did it with almost all of us. Was Did he do it with the Ben situation, or was that just a Toby thing? I wouldn't know, because I don't remember much that happened between Ben and Toby. If, if I recall that that conversation correctly, um, I think it was just a Ben thing. I don't think Toby really got involved too much with that. He mostly tried to get it to keep quiet at the time. That's what I remember. It was a bunch of people that were discouraging Toby from talking about it. Alright, so... Unfortunately, it looks like you can't get an answer from people who obviously may not have those answers or who left due to this nonsense. Okay. So, the question is, do you have anything else you feel you need to cover about the FCK? Um, I mean, aside from the... Jesus, that's it. Um, do, do you want me to send evidence for the porn spamming, or are we good on that one? Uh, everybody has agreed that does happen, so I don't think I need evidence for it, to be honest. Okay. Um, now, one thing I think is interesting about the server is there's a couple things you say that you weren't too involved which is fair and to a degree you kind of weren't but you also were the one you and mad libs were the one to get lucy to make the video on me lucy wanted to make a video on you and we didn't stop her we were bitching about you because they because you kept coming back to us and you kept bothering both of us and lucy was like fuck it i want to make a video about this guy because he's bothering you so much and we didn't stop her she just wanted to make a roast video because she saw how you were affecting both of us because you were coming into our servers, you were coming into our streams. Well, I didn't join your server. Day. Well, okay, up until that point, because that was two days after... Um... You joined my server under three accounts, and there's still an alt in there. I, yeah, I, do, I joined your server under three accounts, but I never joined them. Uh, you're saying that this discussion that was, that was specifically had in regards to Lucy's video was um, on... I think the day or the day after you all posted the collab. And I wasn't in your servers until a few months after that. No, you came first... in my server right after that video. I remember it. You came into my server under Akuma. You came under my server in Rat in a Hat and then Cup Noodle Boy. Well, and I now came you into your server as Rattus and the Hattus. Uh, and then I got initially banned. That's why the Rattus you... and the Hattus joined. I got banned. You also still have one in there. The Noodle Cup Boy isn't in there. Um, no, unless you have a different one in it. there. One of your friends told us without us asking that you have another one in there i don't i have one in the fck server i have i had one the same one that was in uh xena's but i don't have one in your server now i'm gonna take your word you for it but if you're lying to me i'm gonna be pissed not that i can really do much about it but i'm gonna take your word for it all right no i get you i'm just Wait, what friend was this? Was it Silver? Was it Silver that said it? I don't remember, actually, Susie. Do you remember? They came to you. Uh, you mean Kumo? What? I think? Kumo I said that I had it. No, I there was another person. I don't remember who it was. 
the, I was about to say, Colonel, I think, is the only one that came to me about the whole situation, and I don't recall us talking about that. Wow. No, this was a while ago. I don't remember. That can... uh, there's something that I want to make um, extremely clear with you, Akuma. I want to make something extremely clear. Is that I have no qualms with you, other than when you come to me in DMs and in calls. And I cannot differentiate when you are being hostile, and I can't dif differentiate when you're being um, communicative, okay? All I want is for this to be over. I want us to go th to, for both of us to go our separate ways, and we'll never talk about each other ever again, or make videos about each other, because I was already planning on not doing that. <laughs> the only time I talk about you is when you come back. I don't care about you. No, I'm not saying that you do. And my like, only point I, of I, is that I, shit being brought up again, like repeatedly. One of the well, tell them to fuck off, because here's the thing, right? I cannot control that other people come to you. And I cannot control what people believe. They choose what they believe. I stand by that video to my recollection of it and from what happened to it. If you want more closure on it, I would recommend talking to Ponder because I have a really fucked up memory because I am stressed all the time and I'm not very I've smart. I've reached out to Ponder before. I don't see that going anywhere, but I get attempt to. Well, you can try to... She's in the Senate. You could try that. Um... Uh, the only reason why she's not here is probably because she's outside enjoying being alive and like see unlike me uh who's huddled in at 2 a.m 3 a.m while it's raining outside and it's shitty all over um i, I just i want to make something clear with you in that i don't think that you're an evil person but i also want you to understand that i don't want you to be paranoid thinking that i'm going around scurrying behind your back to find dirt on you i'm not I want well, I don't you think to that you are. That. I think that you did at one point, though. <laughs> no, I didn't. I didn't do it at literally any point in time. <laughs> well, I can't prove this because Teddy's not here. Oh, don't worry. Teddy right. and I have talked, and she has talked to you through me, like, one time. That's it. I have no intention of making a video on you. I have no intention of getting dirt on you. I told you this in a comment once, and that I wish you the best, and I really want you to get therapy, because... This, it, it's been over. It's been over for three years. And if people come to you, tell them to fuck off. It's none of their business. Oh, that's simple and easy when it's like Discord messages and shit, which I've done before. But when I'm like getting into a fucking YouTube slap fight and someone whips it out of nowhere because, oh, Ponder and Nezzy said it, so it has to be true. Oh, then add... stop getting in Twitter fights. Hey, as... uh... Stop getting in fights, dude. As someone who still has. You know, just a robot get brought up, or Medicare, as you might know, uh, as you might know, Kumu. Um, I just kind of roll my eyes and, and kind of just disengage myself. This is the way of the internet, man. People don't forget. I'm sure I'm gonna get more comments. No, I'm not saying people should. I'm not saying people should forget. And I'm like, That's this not is. What I'm saying. It sucks, but it's the way things are. Right, and you then. can tell them to fuck off. You can block people. You can mute people. Well, Stop getting in YouTube fights. If having this argument, if having like these people show up in your random arguments is an issue, like how do you think a conversation with Nezzy is going to fix that? The point that I was trying to make here that is being overlooked is that it was Ponder and Nezzy who chose to make those two videos. They chose to lie and say that I deleted tweets that I didn't. All to suggest that I was trying to hide my actions. They chose to cherry pick my fucking Twitter feed to accuse me of trying to dox Slimmers and then repeated it multiple times throughout the video. Throughout both videos. I didn't put a gun to their heads and make them lie. Their audience, like Heaton and Mushroom Girl and whoever else that has repeated this accusation, are only doing so because... Ponder and Nezzy said it. So why would I try and, and, and keep going at people that are just repeating it because they're good little drones? If I make a false accusation and someone else starts repeating it, while that individual is at fault for buying into the bullshit, I'm mainly at fault because I'm the one that made the false accusation to begin with. And you don't get to play victim just because it bites you in the ass later. Well, I think clarification on some stuff, which there was some clarification here. Other stuff was more of a he said, she said, unfortunately. Yeah, so... But it's, did you get the answers if, you think you need, though? In some of them, yeah. In some of the ends, yeah. Well, we can't, of course, answer for everybody or everyone. That I that yeah, no, I didn't think that you know simply just talking with one individual was going to clear everything up because obviously Nezzy doesn't know stuff. Ponder knows, 
and so on with each of the individual members. Well, okay, that's all well and good, but I held up my end of things and I got your conversation for you. So what I'm Much requesting and expect is that this on Nezzy's end. Ends. Oh, yeah, no. So no more dicking with Nezzy, no more alt accounts, just none of that. Nezzy has had the decency to show up and communicate with you. This call has been very civil, and I appreciate that from both ends. But at this point, you need to leave Nezzy alone. You probably should have beforehand, because, like, Nezzy brought up some valid points about how you're conducting yourself, obviously. But that's what I think needs to go. If you want to have conversations, and I do mean conversations, not dicking with, with other people who have been involved, I implore you to do it in a sensible way. Well, I started dicking with them after things didn't go anywhere. Well, like, you should have been first... dicking with me to begin with. And you shouldn't have been lying about me to begin with, but you did. And then every time it was brought up, you kept lying even further. You don't get to lie about someone. Then when they start making fun of you and fucking with you, you play the victim card. You look stupid, you look silly, and the only people falling for it are your retarded fucking audience. Everyone else knows exactly why I was fucking with you. I made it very clear why I was fucking with you. You chose to get involved, you chose to lie multiple times, and then when I brought it up again, you chose to lie then you don't get to play the victim card you are no victim here uh, akumu i've dealt if with you a... wanted to be communicative like i said before you have a history of dicking around with people how do i when you i think at one point you even called yourself a troll how am i supposed to know when to take you seriously and when not to well when i reach out to you on twitter wanting to discuss it like act on a the message one them, time it... i remember you coming out to me was how is that l and that's it no because the before that, when the initial, when the initial video was made, I think this is the first week that the video was made, the, uh, the Mad Libs one in regards to the whole like sexual harassment thing. The first thing I did was I tried to DM you, and then it went nowhere, and that's why uh, all the tweets that are in the video, which again can be found like at the at Nezzy segment of the video on the way back machine, all those tweets were made because no 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 response was made, and then I got hell you fucking when we uh, were talking on the Noodle Cup Boy account. I wasn't dicking with you then, and then you yeeted me out of your server, and I tried to say No, you were kind of dicking with me on there. You brought up this shit with Lucy, and so I, I responded in kind. And when I asked you did not to get this situation sorted, are you going to revel in it? And you said yes. You didn't want the situation to be fixed. You wanted to no, revel in it. No, I didn't say face. I was going to revel in it. What yes, I said you did. was that... There's literally no. a screenshot of it. Hold on. Let me go to the DMs. I said, are you going to revel in it, or are we going to get it fixed? And you said, I might. Okay, the Noodle Cup Boy DMs. Mm -hmm. okay. I really shouldn't set to do this at noon because it's three in the morning. I'm sorry I keep bitching about that, but I'm tired. <laughs> I get it. I'm probably it not is... even going to go to bed after this. I have to go do more shit. Okay. But I want to make this clear, man. I just want whatever is going on between you and me to be over. I want you to have the best. I wish you the best on your YouTube channel. But I just want whatever bad blood between us to be cleared out. We're not going to get the answers that we want. And you got a problem with me? That's fine. You are within your full right to hate me. But I just want this over. We both said and did stupid shit. Because you were 16, and I was like barely 19, and I was figuring out what the hell to do with my life, because I thought it was over. I graduated high school, I'm like, fuck it, I guess I'll die. And, like, we did shit. And I think we can acknowledge that we did shit. And I think that it's time, as adults, looking back on it, because you're almost 20, and I'm already 20, to look back on this and let it die. Well, that's why I'm making the, the retrospective series. Is just talking about everything and then letting it go. That, that's why I reached out to you uh, in 2022 to talk about it. But which I don't yeah. remember. And I'm not saying I, uh, that I don't believe you. I'm saying this because we interacted I get DMs. briefly on the Twitter account, and then I DM you. That I do know. I would have to. 
Uh, All I remember is the conversation because you said something about woke movies, and that's it. In 2022? <laughs> I think. Dude, you have several accounts. I don't fucking remember I'm, which I'm one is I'm talking which. about, okay, you know the twit longer you made January? No, I don't. I don't year? remember. The no. twit longer you made this year of January. No, I don't. Do you think I remember everything I've ever tweeted? No, the twit longer you put out about the situation this year oh, of January. Oh, the situation. Yes, that one I remember. Okay. It was a little bit before that, like, 2022, that I reached out to you about it. This it was like it was before I posted my video. So one, I was like, okay, you know what? Uh, you mean the 24 hour just, thing? No, not the 24 hour thing. That was that that was before that. This Which was is still in, weird. It was a weird ass message. Oh yeah, sure. I'm not saying it wasn't weird. Um, it's just didn't really know how to reach out, and every time I did with uh, any of you. If I reached out seriously, it, it was con considered harassment. If I joked, dude, if you want to reach out seriously, harassment. all you have to do is say, "Hey, man, can we talk?" And that's like it. You don't have to do all this drama shit of like, "I wish to have a meeting with you" or whatever the fuck. Just say, "Hey, you can can you, can we talk?" And yeah, I'm like, "Okay, do. yeah, you, I will give on. it." Let me let me find the DM real quick. You do have oh, an issue with that. Up. That that is a pattern I've noticed with you because that's the first interaction we had was you talking like that to me, and I'm just like, "What is this?" I am prone like, to hostility initially. It's I not mean. even hostility. It's like weeb LARPing. Except every attempt was exaggerated to an extreme. Just before in this call, she said I spammed a live stream but didn't actually spam it. It makes no fucking sense. When I messaged her on Twitter asking if she'd be honest before my video was uploaded because I didn't want to have to do it again, it's threatening and harassment. Just a few minutes ago, she tried to say I did the same in the DMs of the Noodle Cup Boy account. The same DMs where I gave her the screenshots, where she accused me of calling Fuchsia Butters a pedophile and then made the subject about her friends. Again, trying to play the victim card, stating, why do you keep going after me and my friends after it's been months? As if her and her friends weren't lying about me that entire year. You banded together in a group of people, made several videos throughout the year lying about that individual, and then you're Pikachu facing because that individual is hostile towards you. Almost every single complaint of hers from in this call has been about me being mean and rude as a reaction to her lying about me. Oh, yeah. Well, just like here, here's the thing, it, I guess. Here's the thing. My biggest issue with you, right, is that you come off as a very hostile person, and no shit, nobody wants to deal with a hostile person, especially me as someone with an, like anxiety and someone that has to like takes a lot of meds just to function. I'm not going to react well to it. If you wanted to talk, you could have just said, "Hey, man, um, you know, there's some stuff that I disagree with. You mind?" like hashing it out i'd be like sure i'm not going to respond to you have 24 hours till the truth comes out well the uh the what about the one after that one because the one after that one in 2022 i was like hey i'm working on this video and that i kind of want to remember. talk about it before i wanted to talk about it before posting it that one i, I didn't want to make the uh the second also you don't announce yourself about. you never announce yourself you just expect me to know which one is supposed to be you. Would, oh, well, the account was, was, like named me. So, but and to be fair, I should. You expect me to think that every person named Akumu is you, on the vast wide web. Fair, but if I'm bringing has up a the, name? if I'm bringing up this the, the Teddy and uh, Silver situation, I, I think it would be fair to assume that it's me. That's why I said that I don't remember that DM at all. I don't even know if I read it. I could have just seen your name and fucked off. Because it doesn't Fair show enough. the full DM. It also probably went into the DMs. It's like, hey, warning, this person is suspicious. And I'm like, well, yeah. fuck it. Because I have that on my thing. Of... Yeah, there's a third category of Twitter DMs. Like, dude, if you wanted to talk from the very beginning, all you had to do was be like, hey, what's up? But no, every time that you've ever talked to me... Every time you've talked to anybody has been incredibly hostile. You need okay, to um, learn to was, chill. <laughs> I think it was May 15th that I messaged. That's the other thing? I don't remember everything. <laughs> no, I'm saying like, it was around that time. You made I don't remember when I ate tonight. yesterday. I forgot to eat today.
This is this is a weird part about any internet drama. You remember when you said this three years ago? No! I don't remember what the fuck I look like half the time. I look at my face and I forgot a detail. I scared myself once. So no. Is that from the meds or is that a... No, that's just in general. I just have a shitty memory. In that, like... Also, it's, I'm being hyperbolic. I know, I know what you mean. Yeah, it's just like... Some, something that was taught with my dad whenever you're in a situation try to at least be a little bit lighthearted in that okay you know if you can uh, make someone laugh so correction on my yeah. end mm-hmm. it was not may it was june it was around june that i tried to reach out and i sent okay. a dm and then there was some tweets made in regards to me uh because i tweeted at you as well and then i also sent a dm then i probably tweets had about me in. You made uh, a tweet about me tweeting at you, but there was nothing about the DM. But I remember the other time you messaged me. Sorry. I interrupted you. Sorry. It's whatever. Um, this is the comment that you made on my YouTube channel of saying that I was hiding on a different YouTube channel, even though it was the same name and I had advertised the channel before. It was also that one. When was that? This year? Because I remember interacting with your other one. Um... It was on the Nezzy Monster the Mouse channel. You um, yeah. commented on a video. And it was Yeah, I don't think I like, accused oh, you of hiding though. I think it was just me fucking with you. Hold no, on. you said uh you said something along the lines of like, oh, so this is where you've been hiding? And it's like, no. Hold on, no, where's it at? Oh, so you constantly admitting that you're fucking with me is not a good look, man. No. Well, I'm not gonna lie and, and, and pretend that sometimes I don't. That'd be rather disingenuous of me. Would you rather me bullshit you? You've kind of been bullshitting when you fuck with me, <laughs> you want to be. If you want to be taken seriously, you have to be serious the whole way through. And because of their previous track record, because you fucked with everybody, and then you tried to s- approach me civilly, I didn't believe that, and then you proceeded to fuck with me. Do you understand the pattern with which this is occurring? With, with well, my initial happening? interaction with you, you well, okay. After you made the ponder video and stuff, you say that I fucked with you, but I, I made like two comments, one on each video. And then I fucked off to work on the video and then Lucy made a video. Like I didn't start interacting with you until post the Ponder video, actually post the Lucy situation. No, I remember Ponder and I talking that you kept fighting with people in the comments. I think people came to me about it too. I just said that I didn't start fucking with her until post Fuchsia Butters video. And then her example of me fucking with her is fucking with the people in her comments. You can't make this shit up. To my, I don't remember. well, yeah, but I just I made comments on it, but I didn't start fucking with you Not that you made YouTube. comments on it, that you were fucking with people in the comments. At most, people would get a reply, but I wouldn't, like, go out of my way to, to fuck with the individuals in the comments, no. Um, <clears throat> I mean, Omega the Skeleton might have said that. I remember him. Actually, he's still kind of around as of this year. Um, but when you initially made the two videos with ponder i didn't i only only did all i did was comments and then lucy made the video so then i made my video in return and then like the first individual i guess you could say from your group that i actually started fucking with was lucy because i joined the server and i didn't even spam the server i just started interacting and then it was after that that i joined uh your discord with the um the akuma one the main so, like, I, I tried initially beforehand to, read, to talk to each of you. Um, well, actually, ZZ would be the... the. Uh... I remember you fighting with ZZ before any of the videos were made. Yeah, yeah, so ZZ I would remember be the one that's consistent that. with that. Because I, I got into a back and forth with her first before any of the videos were made in uh, September. And then that was pretty funny. Mad Libs made a pretty decent video just having a good laugh out of it because it was never meant to be taken seriously because uh, all it was was just just saying the most like light yogami related shit possible um, and then finally I made my video and then a little bit after that James made his video and that was that, that was after he was in your old's group so when I made my he video was in the toasty group yeah he was in the he was in the FCK server. He made the video okay, and brought me up into it. Um, so because he made it was Mad Libs that made the first initial video, which it wasn't anything bad. It was literally just having a good laugh. 
was it. Dude, there's and so many names. This was James this, made this... a video, and then you two made a video. Agree... Like, can we just agree that this whole fucking thing was a mess? Oh yeah, no, I, I don't, I absolutely, we can agree there. I mean, it definitely was. It was all over the place, uh, and that's why it's a little difficult to have to navigate and with me getting into other situations and the people just whipping it out like a little card to swipe, it's like, okay, you know what? I'll make the retrospective series. And I came up with that, like either, I think, I think I came up with that in 2022, but I've been working. So I've been busy. And I mean, then, dude, you can also just move on and say, I don't care. Like, that is, you know, here's I, the thing. Well, here's the thing. Certain situations I can, people... but when other people are claiming I'm doxing or, uh, which is, I'm pretty certain that's against the law. I'm if, so is against law. Well, uh, kind of. It, it depends. depends number really one, funny. on state. Like for example, here in Texas, doxing being posting private information. Um, number one, of course, it has to be private. But here in Texas, the only person I, if I wanted to go out and do that, would not be allowed to do that to is a police officer. That's in Texas code. I could do it to literally anybody else. If I got everybody in Fox Mafia, if I got their docs and posted it publicly, the law couldn't do dick to me. So okay, it so it ranges. That's a misconception on my. That's a misconception I on a lot of people's ends. Okay, but one of the reasons why I've been so annoyed by it is because I thought, okay, well, doxing's illegal, and I'm being accused of either doxing people, sending people out to dox people, even though, like for instance, with uh, you know Madlib saying I was sending Sherman out to dox you when I didn't even know he was doing any of that. There was a whole conversation that I had to have with Sherman in my server specifically about that after the video came out i didn't know up up until that point and then that continuously gets used um i, I mean, do want to say um you have to kind of acknowledge that being friends with sherman well i wasn't friends with him good but being associated a, in any way there was a well it was lucy that asked me to reach out to sherman because i knew who was doing it because sherman said on youtube that he was he was ddosing lucy i didn't reach out until Lucy said, hey, uh, I'm being DDoSed. I'm having some issues streaming. And I was like, okay, yeah, I know who it is. And Lucy said, could you reach out and get him to stop? I got him to stop. Lucy said, thank you. That was the, I thought that was the end of it. And then um, it was brought up again later that I had had discussions with, with uh, Sherman. And then that was used as, okay, well, I must be sending Sherman out to try and get into your PayPal account. I didn't know about that until the video, and that's when me and Sherman had a whole fucking back and forth about it in my server. It was a whole discussion about it because I didn't know about it. So I, I, think I guess the reason yeah, why uh, that started was because you came into the stream with Toby Lippy and I, and he was also doxing me at the same time. You know what? We may not have proof, guys, but he did show up in the stream at the same time as someone else. So why don't we claim that he sent him to get into our PayPal? I know, no connection whatsoever, no evidence for it, but let's do it. This excuse or rationalization also doesn't make any fucking sense because on March 9th, two days after Ponder and Nezzy did their collab together on me, Nezzy Monster admitted in the FCK server that Sherman was fucking with her because she associated with Doodle Tones. This was before I even had a conversation with Sherman, and he was already going after her for being friends with doodle tones yet when he shows up in the stream that i was already at that's their excuse and reasoning to suggest that i'm sending him out to fucking fuck with nezzy monster this is the same people by the way that got onto me declaring that i needed evidence when i needed to make a claim and they had literally fucking none and people still believed it which During is why yes that's why uh one of us had to be given mod powers to get him to fuck off I think that's where well, you ended I remember up that a little bit differently, and I have it recorded. I remember specifically because um, he put my name in there. Was this after I showed up? Because I have my part recorded because everyone claims that I raid streams, so I started recording what I do. Uh, like when Kai recently said, well, not recently, like partially last year, he said that I did. But anyways, um, I, I remember showing up to the stream, and Toby and you started talking about it, I said, like, one or two things. Junkie was made admin, and then booted me out, and then I went on my business. That's all I have in the recording. I, I don't have anything of, of Sherman spamming a name. I'm not saying he didn't, because he easily could have. That's not out of his, his behavior. Um, yeah, because he's, he's that, done it before on my streams. 
Uh, and I know he's done it to Doodles multiple times. Yeah. But... I've made a couple videos about it. <laughs> um, well, like it, just, she can fuck off. <clears throat> just, just shit like that getting roped in. So that was used, and there was a shit with silver that was used. Uh, there's some other stuff too, but... Uh, I can't think of anything else that's really too specific to you, because you were only involved with under collab and very very partially the mad libs video i do act actually one more question about the mad libs video do you know anything about uh the individuals that mad libs went around to get information like at all out of because you don't remember approaching teddy and we can't prove that because well that account's deleted and she's not here but um like for instance there was an individual by the name of slumber that uh mad libs had lied to various times to get information out of and specifically, this is in regards to the whole doxing thing claim that was made in your segment, where um, there was a screenshot used where I said that I had a conversation with Sherman, meaning we talked before, uh, but conveniently cropped out of it is where I said I barely knew the dude. Um, that screenshot was obtained from Slumber. Do you know anything about that? I don't know who that is. I'm sorry, man. I don't know who that is. It is what it is. What it is. I feel like I've heard that name, but I don't think I've ever interacted with them. Like I said, I gave what I gave to Libby, and I gave her the wrong things. I will admit that. We had a conversation about that we left on good terms. Because I was an idiot, and I mixed up screenshots, and I misremembered a lot of shit that happened. Because after our convoy, I had blocked you, and I- She said that she would have been open to civil conversation had I reached out. And yet, where we were having a civil conversation, she removed my ability to message her by kicking it from her Discord, and then blocked it. That- that amount checks out. I also ended it, and I didn't know how to get it back. This is something I didn't notice as the call was taking place, but I'm glad I noticed it now. Nezzy Monster just said that she ended or closed our DMs and didn't know how to get them back. And this is apparently her reasoning for not giving Mad Libs all of the screenshots I sent her, because she closed our DMs and didn't know how to get them back. Yet her own friend, Doodle Tones, previously stated in this same fucking call that Nezzy Monster never lost the DMs, just that she thought she did. If I may, I was in a I was in a call when Nezzy went back and looked for those DMs. Nezzy didn't even know that they still had the DMs open. And that she was in a call with Nezzy when she found them. So why is Nezzy Monster, after Doodletone said that in the same fucking call, telling me and everyone else that her reasoning for not giving Mad Libs all the screenshots was that she ended our DMs and didn't know how to get them back. That is extremely inconsistent. Not only that, but there's no way she could have lost our DMs and then recovered them because we share no mutual friends, no mutual group chats, no mutual servers, so if she closed it, she would have no way to recover it. And the kicker is this. Doodle Tones sent a friend of mine a screenshot from Nezzy's perspective of our DMs with the Noodle Cup Boy account before this call took place. And I didn't remember the screenshots. All I remember is the one that your friend sent in the server, which had the image cropped, and you had sent me the full one. But I ended up mixing those two screenshots in my head. Uh, but after I had sent my stuff to Libby, that was it. That was, I had no say in the rest of the video. Don't be mad at Libby. She has also moved on from the situation. She's had enough of it as well. Um, I'm responsible for most things. So don't don't be mad at them. You can be mad at me. Well, I did make send a DM. I haven't been really fucking with Libby too much, but I did send a DM trying to get a conversation. I don't think it went anywhere. It never well, had it, when but... you admit to dicking around with her and then wanting a combo, what do you expect is going to happen? pretty good point like my man a lot of the reason why you get the shit that you get is due to presentation oh i'm not and doubting I'm, that or denying that yeah. i completely agree i just think that just because i say some mean things and i'm everywhere and all that stuff just fucking around i don't think that inherently means like for example because i thought doxing was against the law people should accuse me of either at least at the time trying to break the law as i thought yeah, but that or, still doesn't make you look good in the end. Well, I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to make myself look good. I'm just trying. Yeah, to be but that's the honest. thing, is that there's a difference between honesty and being an ass. And you need to acknowledge that if you want to move on from the situation, and if you want people to take you seriously. 
And like the whole persona that you have created, it's almost like you want people to hate you, which is why I think that what you're doing is very unhealthy. I think you need to stay out of fucking drama. I think you need to get your shit together. And I think you need to move on from this like everybody else has. And if people come up to you again, then they're just doing the very thing that the rest of us have said not to do. And that's to bring up somebody's past when they've moved on. Because it's fucking well, bullshit. It's not that I have an issue with people bringing up the past. Like, I have no issue with people bringing up the madame situation as a whole. People are going to do that. that but they fun. can fuck off. The madame, madame is gone. I, I, she yeah, was a I, shithead. I concur. I don't really care if they bring up the madame situation, though. The only, like, I guess you could say point of contention or issue that I have with people bringing it up is, okay, for instance, let's say Mushroom Girl claiming I tried to dox someone. Or, uh, hell, I was I, I had a debate. Then with, that is your monk. problem with them, not I, me. And I've I've reached out to them and I've I've had that discussed before. But the point, but you made the claim that I doxed is my point. That was the art. That was the claim you all made off of very very shoddy evidence. When you because, make the claim, can I get some information about this person in terms of their county? Yes, it comes off that way. What is that noise? Me typing? I don't know. That's not on my end. I hear it too. There's two things I want to address here. First is this idea that I can't fuck with people and be an honest individual. Those two things are not mutually exclusive. I can make fun of someone and also talk about them in a serious manner. If you can't handle someone being made fun of, being on the internet is just not for you. Just because I make fun of people does not mean that's all I do. I always provide an argument or reasoning behind it. I made fun of her and her friends because they lied about me. Second, my issue is not people disliking me. People can dislike me, people can hate me, I don't care. I care when they lie about me. You can dislike someone without having to lie about them. I know that's a hard concept to grasp, especially in that community, but it is very much possible. Just because someone is an asshole doesn't mean you get to lie about them. That's exactly how her and her friends ended up in this situation to begin with. That community thinks that just because they dislike someone, they can make up whatever the fuck they want about them, and because their audience just buys whatever horseshit they're told, they spread the things that they make up. It is not my job to coddle people on the internet. Okay, I thought I was going nuts and my headphones were broken. If it's the typing, the schizophrenia it's is kicking in. If it's typing, it's I, me. If I learn I have schizophrenia, fuck you, first off. <laughs> That's fucking... Um, <laughs> like, okay. I better Here's fucking not. The hat man in the corner... The hat man in the corner abides by this. The hat man in the corner abides by this. Yeah, when I take like 5,000 Advil, hat man comes up, fuck him. Uh, okay, another example. I had a debate with someone uh, on Twitch, okay? Had nothing to do with it. And um, Heaton showed up and said that I tried to, to dox a minor. Like, just out of the blue. Had nothing to do with the discussion. And it was just randomly brought up. So it's just like stuff like that. where Dude, it, like I said, so when you go it. on Twitter and ask information about a minor's county in order to find a case file of her sexual assault, that is how it comes off. Excuse me. Yeah, initially came off that way, but I also had various that's corrections. That's how it comes off. Okay, okay. Okay, but by the time you made the video, like around that time too, uh, what was it, September, the tweet was made. Okay, so. Sixth, yeah. It seems to me like you've gotten everything you needed talking to Nezzy. You said, oh, yeah, yeah. You said previously yeah. you were satisfied with that, so I'm going to expect you to leave Nezzy alone, and I'm going to expect you to not mess with Nezzy going forward. So I hope you abide by that, because I'm not going to be happy if you don't. Now, Nezzy, you've given Akumu mm -hmm. half an hour over the time you promised. So if you want to get, if you want to hop out at this point, you can. I still have some questions for Akumu, um, out of my own sake of curiosity, if you have the time, Akumu. Ask away. All right, so. Okay, um, I'm going to go. It was nice talking to you, and I'm glad we were able to get this sorted. Um, I wish you the best, man. You That's all I can say. Regardless of what the hell happened, as long as as long as you grow from this, I don't give a shit. I just wish you the best, man. You too. See ya. See ya. So, backing right, up a up? bit to a bit that are... Were you affiliating with Sherman, knowing what Sherman was doing? I wasn't affiliating... Um, I had discussions with him after Lucy asked me to get him to stop. After that, we were sort of chill. There wasn't any 
a lot of people seem to think that I was sending him out to dox people or anything like that. And I specifically had multiple conversations with him where I would tell him not to just dox people because he would follow me to certain streams where I'd be like, uh, I guess a good example would be, I don't think it was one of Doodles, but I think Doodles was in the stream. And I first appeared in the chat and I just started having fun. And um, like the normal, usual shit that I did. And then he showed up and started spamming it. So, so then, like, that was a point of contention there. So, so you but knew... I wasn't affiliated or, or condoning it, as people claim. Okay, but if you're chill with a guy who does scumbag things, like, what do you think that says for your values? Chill with him and being friends with him. Like, okay, when I say chill with him, I mean we're not, like, butting heads or, or even, what's the term? We're not butting heads. We're not really talking that often. That's what I mean by chill with him. I mean, I get that, but... We why, didn't have any issues. Why would you even want to keep open communication with somebody who does that level of scumbag behavior? Well, I didn't... Well, it wasn't open communication up until, uh, I think, September of... Yeah, it wasn't open communication until September of uh, 2020. And that was when we discussed the hacking of Nessie's PayPal. Well, attempted. He didn't actually get in. Correction. So he... He admitted that he tried to do that. So. Yeah, no, it was it was very open about that. Um, and I do know that he went around and tried to, like, brag various times about having spoken with me, which I don't know why he did. Because, again, I'm not a big deal. I'm not anyone of any importance. Um, and that was, I, I want to say, around September, right before the, the Mad Libs video. No, yeah, right before the Mad Libs video. All right, go ahead, Susie. I know you're trying to talk. Oh, no. I I, I was going to say something earlier about the, the stream that was brought up. Uh, do you remember about the date that, that happened? Ooh, uh, could you specify which stream? Well, that's, that's what I'm... Well, because you, you brought up that uh, you were apparently... Oh, the stream that, that I joined and he followed? Around. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, well, actually, I might have it in my mouse. Give me a second. It was. Because if you can, re if you can remember about the date, I probably still have the stream. If it's at least if it was one of mine. I don't know if it was one of yours. I know that you. you yeah, I think you were present in the stream, and I know that I joined, okay. and I started the usual shit that I do just poking fun and then he showed up and started spamming and then me and him had a whole discussion about it on discord with spamming the docs information because one i don't think spamming is very funny and two spamming docs information is like the most basic thing ever it's very typical i think you might you think you and me have a different uh different idea of Basic, but all right. Leo is asking me about my affiliation or association or whatever with Sherman, also known as Sherbase. He's a guy around art commentary that's known for doxing people, mainly doodle tones. This talking point specifically came from the FCK when they found out that I had spoken with him, using that as their proof that I was sending him out to dox people. So to address some of the things and provide some context. First, just because I speak with or have conversations with someone does not mean I agree with everything that they do. I have had conversations with dozens of people that I don't agree with. Second, in terms of my values, I have always been pretty openly against doxing ever since the Madame days. That's three fucking years ago. Though people claim I made excuses for it, I specifically stated in the video that there is no excuse for the attempted doxing. Third, my reputation or how people view me. I honestly don't give a shit. I'm not concerned in the slightest. People can think I'm a piece of shit, an asshole, a bad person. It makes no fucking difference. The only issue I have is when people lie about me. If people want to call me a bad person because I've spoken with a doxer, whatever. But if they're going to claim I'm sending him out to dox people when I'm not, that's where I draw the line. If I actually was sending him out to dox people and people claimed it, I just wouldn't care. I'm not going to obsess over reputation when reputation in that community is so fucking inconsistent. Fourth, what I mean by basic. The typical stream rating usually has spamming of docs information. It's the go-to retardation. I prefer a bit more creativity. As in, he, that's all he ever does. That's his idea of, of, okay. of a raid, is spam the same docs information over and over and over again.
Any other questions, Leo? I'm just kind of baffled why you even want to talk to that clown, like just in general. But it's not that I wanted to, because I barely knew the dude, and I still barely know the dude now. But just that Lucy asked me because he told me. I think in I think it was in my comments. It may have been somewhere on Discord at some point because I know we shared various Discords at some point. Two of them. Um, but he said that he was the one doing the, the DDoSing with Lucy. And then Lucy reached out to me, I think, at some point in 2020, I want to say before September, but I, yeah, it was before September because that was when the Mad Libs video came out. And then he was like, hey, can, can you not in this stop? Actually, hold on. I might be able to pull the specific DMs up. And that was the discussion I had. So then I went and talked with Sherman. And then there was another individual that like did doxing at one point by the name of Lugia that I, he quit doxing and that's when I was talking to him. But then people said, oh, well, he previously doxed people. So he must be in cahoots with that. Even though I was the one that got the dude to quit doxing because pretty much a low blow. There's no fun in it. So that's where the whole doxing thing came from. It came from the inter the ver the few interactions I had with Sherman up at that point, and then being associated with it, and then the Lugia one, which happened later. I'm gonna say this as kindly as I can, because I don't genu I genuinely don't want to insult you when I say this, but I think you clearly have an issue with not understanding how. Um, what's the word cavorting for lack of a better word with scumbags and sometimes your own behavior is a detriment to what you're trying to accomplish and i think whether you do it now or whether you do it when you're my age hopefully not then you need to take a look and say you know maybe you ought to rethink how i do some things well i don't think having a few conversations with people that are absolutely terrible is condoning or aiding them in their behavior I don't disagree in principle, but at the same time, like, Sherman was doing some absolutely egregious stuff. And we find out later on he did even more egregious things. And, well, not always a good idea in any way to hitch your horse to that wagon. If you were talking to him because you wanted to expose him or something, that could be one thing, depending on how you do it. But, like, the fact that you were able to talk to him to get him to leave somebody else alone... Like that's going to well, on the on the request of someone else. Yeah, yeah. that's going to immediately make people think without question that you two are are chummy with each other. Because why else would he listen to you? So, are you? Should I have not done so? I, I I'm saying that from the outside perspective, it's going to look questionable, and you also need to ask yourself why he listened to you. Because it's weird that he did. Well, I mean, it's also weird that he bragged about having a conversation with me as though I was anyone of importance, but... Yeah, and I'm sure that probably didn't do much good for your reputation either. I concur, and I'm, it's not that I'm, I'm really concerned with my reputation, just more so because I have no problem with people bringing up old shit. Like, it is what it is. It's when it's, like, untrue shit that I have a problem with. And stuff that I've already talked about before. And many of the people that I have these interactions with, I try and clarify things with them. And it's sort of, uh, what's the, in ear and one in one ear and out the other situation. All right. Well, that's all I've got right now. So we're going to go ahead and cut it because we all have things we need to do today. Unless anybody else has questions for Akumu. And if you do... Uh, tag me so I can do the unmutey for you. Actually, I have not been paying attention to the gallery context this much. Well, no, you shouldn't be. <laughs> I don't know. I, I think it's been quite entertaining. Hey, we, we just we just brought up the Sherman thing. Like, like literally, like, we, we just we just talked about it. Wait till you bring up the Sherman thing over. <laughs> hey, it's like, did we bring up the Sherman thing? Like, yeah. Ah, okay. Aaron wants to talk. One moment. Did it. Where are you? 
What do you mean let him dox people? Wait, who are you talking about? Someone said, uh, if he's barely knew that, then why did you let him dox people? That's a dumb question. Akumu can't stop somebody from doxing people. Later, Eaton. Oh, I'm not oh, searching up your fake. That was again just me looking at everything. And I still made mistakes in that situation. I got the timeline wrong. That was one of the things that Ponder and Ezzy got right. Can I can I speak? Yes, you can. What's up? Oh, nice. Um, I have one thing to say. Season das essen und wissen der Jäger. She couldn't help herself. She just she just couldn't help herself. Uh, okay. I can't speak. Just want to know who the predator was when Akumu tweeted at Junkie. Did you tweet something about predator? Um, that was, um, uh, I have it somewhere in my archives. It's been talked about before. And his whole reason was claiming that he didn't have evidence for it, but he kind of did. And then it got banned and later was revealed, oh, there's way more worse shit. Yeah, it's almost like Junkie has previously excused somebody having terrible stuff. Hmm. Well, he was also like perfectly fine with the uh, with the NSFW shit of like Slummers is fucking porn in the FCK server. Of course he was. Of course the weirdo. That was a him and Toasty thing. That's that's all I can say in regards to that NSFW chat, though. Of course, the furry is okay with that. Why am I not surprised? <laughs> Aren't I thought you were a furry? Are no, am I my... wrong? No, my icon is from Transformers. Lyo Convoy is a robot that turned into a truck-sized lion. It's not a furry thing. I, the sad part is, is I'm a big fan of Transformers and didn't even know the character was. So clearly, I'm not as big a fan as I thought I was. It's from Beast Wars the Second. It premiered in 1997. Okay, I've seen the first Beast Wars. Mm -hmm. It's a Japanese exclusive series. Ah. Uh. Uh, Blue just wants to know the name of the person. Um. Oh, um. If I scope my stuff, I might be able to find it somewhere. But the, the thing that was actually, hold on. He talked about it in, he might bring up the name of the, uh. He tries to give his side, although it conveniently leaves us for details. Um, in the. Madlib's video, The Year of Harassment, it's on the Wayback Machine. He might provide specific details that can help. Hmm. But fix your internet. Is my internet having a problem? Yeah, you're almost in robot mode at the time now. Okay. Uh, give me one second here. Yeah, unless you got something, Susie. Um, I guess if I was to ask a question to Akumu, because Nezzy had showed me the DMs between the two of them, what, may I ask why you went back and edited messages from like two years prior? That was directed to you, Akimu. Is Akimu dead? 
Did he leave and come? If he left and come back, I'll have to, I'll have to redo the thingy. Sorry. There you go. You should be able to talk now again. Sorry. When you left and came back into the call, it reserver muted you because you had left the call. You should be able to talk yeah. now. Uh, I know what you're talking about. I specifically provided a little uh, thing because when I was going back to the messages, I tried to you did it. Um, get the specific times of when each photo was sent, and I ended up deleting one of them. However, uh, I still have the – I deleted one of my own screenshots that I sent. So there's 15 there. There was originally 16 in my own recordings of the DMs. There's 16 there. So I specifically put a little thing okay. saying that I accidentally deleted one of my own screenshots. That was it. You, you did that with one of the messages. But there were two that we saw that were edited. It's still stuck with me as a kid. Oh yeah, that was me. What? Well, that's the only one I know about. Maybe at the time when I initially sent the message, I edited it. But the one that I know of is the, 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 the screenshots. So, the, the, the screenshot... Okay, so the oh, screenshots shit. were initially sent... The screenshots were initially sent August 25th, 2020. You edited them August 7th, 2022. That, yeah, that was when seen. I was making the video. There, yeah. there was there was another one that was also originally posted August 25th, 2020 that you went back and edited November 8th, 2022. Hold on, let me check my DMs. Can you tell me what message it was? Uh, it, the current iteration of it says, the community you surround yourself with is sickening. Lying? No one's lying. Okay, let me check it. I can figure out which one it is. Can you tell me? Can you tell me the time it was sent? And I'll tell you what they. I can give you a screenshot of the original message. Uh, on Nezzy's side, it was twelve fifty-eight p.m. But I have no. I have no idea what that would be for you or myself. Um. But it was. Okay. What was it? Uh. What was the message above it? I'm trying to find that. Uh, did I? Did I not screen cap that? Uh, it's it's in my folder. It's screenshot twenty four. Screenshot twenty three. Oh, okay. It was Nezzy saying, and why are you still obsessing over taking me down after all this time? Lying with alt accounts and slinking around. And then you'd say oh. the community you surround yourself with is sickening. Lying, no one's lying. And there was an edit there from November of 2022, two years after it was sent. Okay, hold on. Because I know I have it in my DM somewhere. This is it. Oh, hold on. Okay, so she said, why are you still obsessing with taking me down? And then you would okay. see the community you surround yourself with is sickening, lying, no one's lying. That was posted August 25th, 2020, but edited November of 2022. Okay. Yeah, it's the same thing right here. I can actually send you a, a photo of it. Would you like one? Well, why would it? Well, I, I, was, I would be asking why it was edited. I don't know because of the same thing on this screenshot here, which I can provide you a full screenshot of the chat and my Discord of it with the time it was taken, which the recording was taken at on the January 21st of 2021. So maybe I edited it for grammar. I don't know, but I can provide you a screenshot of it and a recording uh, if need be. Sure. I guess shoot it just in gallery context. Okay. Do you want... Oh, hold on. All right, I'm going to move it over to the phone. One sec. The, I don't I know if I can send the recording over Discord because it is lengthy. Do you want it in DMs? Or? I don't think I need the recording. I really just need the original message. You want the screenshot? Uh, yeah. 
Okay. Because I, I got the rest of the I've got the rest of the the messages. It was we went through uh, Nezzy and I went through it like last month because it was getting brought up again. Okay. And that was that was the only thing that struck me as weird was the the edits like two years after the fact. Um, no, I get it. I get it. Yeah. I tried to provide a little explanation thing, but maybe that wasn't suffice. What Doodle Tones is doing is trying to suggest that I went back to the DMs between me and Nezzy Monster and tried to edit the messages in some kind of way to change the context or conceal information. A very shitty attempt at moving the subject away from what Nezzy Monster did, her dishonesty, and what the FCK were doing in the FCK Discord server to some attempt to make me look like I went back to edit something in an effort to hide something. It's pretty fucking disingenuous, and it went absolutely fucking nowhere, because when I gave the screenshot of what the original message said, it said the exact same fucking thing. The only difference was that it, weirdly enough, had edited right next to it. This just adds to many of my reasonings for why I don't like most of the people that were in the FCK, or a part of the FCK. Because even the ones that weren't really a part of what they were doing towards me, have continuously tried to make excuses, play it down, or just go flat out into denial. They always do something in an effort to try and protect the people within that group and what they did, moving the subject or the goalpost. When we all know if I did half the shit the FCK did that I talk about in this series, they would have tried to crucify me again. Well, you did that with the, with the, the images, but it, like I saw the other one and that one didn't have an edit or anything like that. Okay. Does anyone know how to format a... While well, I'm trying to transfer this over, does anyone know how to format a... micro SD card better? Because this one is really slow. No, I don't, unfortunately. Okay. All right, and pictures. Oh. Hold on. saving the pictures but it's not actually there give me one sec all right Okay. And okay, I gotta move over now, finally. Mm. 
Okay, here it is. I do have a Google Drive. The problem is keeping every all of my archive digital. Like if I were to, hold on. If I were to tell you the size of the, just this archive alone, it is seven gigabytes, and my Wi-Fi is slow, as you guys know. Otherwise, I wouldn't have been roboting earlier. So keeping it all digital and updated and organized is not an easy feat, at least for me. But I probably yeah, should. That makes sense. My archives are okay. quite Hold messy on. at times, too. Yeah. Okay, so is that good? Yeah, it's... Oh, okay. It's all good. Oh, my God. It... Hold on. Oh. Uh... So, do you want the recording, or should I archive it on a Google Drive or something? Well, I, I, as I said, I don't really need the recording myself. I have the the DMs between the two of you. We went through, we went through and just scrolled through. Um, Is anything else about edited? A month ago. No, it was just it was just those two things. You explained one of them. You've now shown me the second one. That's about it. Okay. All right. Uh, I'm good. Check the I chat. Think that's that's it for me. I don't know if anyone else has questions. Mine was just that I just want one simple thing. I just want yeah, an apology. Up? Who is this? Because I never got an apology when I first when you first entered ten, and I said you were the one that insulted my gender. You go, oh, yeah, that was me, and I never really got an apology about that. It's been lingering in the back of my mind. Was this on Twitter or something? Yeah, it's urban. when you, you, it was on Twitter. You literally insulted my gender, right? Right okay, in my did, replies. In your replies? Yeah, because I posted something replying to someone else, and you said he, they, lol, pick one. Now, if you're wondering why I was so silent at this part, I was trying really hard not to just burst out laughing. I'm trying right now not to do so just looking back on it as I record this. It was easier just to simply be quiet and, and astounded by just how ridiculous it was. Now, maybe this person wasn't being serious. Maybe they were just fucking with me. And if they were, kudos to them. I mean, bravo. That is some excellent shit right there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was in regards to the whole he-he-they thing, yeah. Yeah, I never got an apology about that because at the time I did use he they. An apology for the he they pick one? For literally disregarding my gender. Yes, please. You want an apology for the he they lol on Twitter? Yes, because believe it or not, it actually fucking hurt. When was this? I want to say a year ago, maybe. Akubu hasn't been in Senate for a year. No, he... Apparently this was on when Twitter. He... Oh, when he yeah, turns the... himself. I've made fun Twitter of various was... people on Twitter. Um, what was your handle? GG Pixels. It hasn't changed. <laughs> okay. And I said, he, they, lol. Pick one. Something like that, yes. It's been a while, and the account is deleted, so I don't have that tweet on me anymore. Okay. Um, if I apologize to you, it would be disingenuous. Because if that's all I said, I don't really feel sorry for it and I don't feel like lying to your face if that's all I said if I said something else that was like really out of pocket like for example the, what we talked about before and my antics on Twitter but yeah like I said I can 
barely remember how exactly it went down. You just said he, they, L, I. I said, yep, those are my pronouns. And I forget what you said in response, but it was something completely out of pocket. Well, the, okay, the reason probably why I said it, because my stance is on, on this has always been the same when it comes to the whole he, they thing. Having they is kind of pointless because they is used in regards to everyone. As in, like, even if it's not a preferred pronoun listed, it'll still be used to refer to you as it's been probably used to refer to me at some point, so. And that's in the singular context. That's probably why I said it, if it if that's what I said. My thing is, those were my specific ones. I preferred... I didn't they, say them. they wasn't a basic pronoun. Yeah, I'm just saying that those are the preferred ones I used. Yeah. Oh, is it time for me? Sure. Go ahead. Very well. Kath or Kumu or whatever, I just want to let you know something. You need to stop being drawn to drama like a fly to a bug sap. Let go. All this stems from you being hostile towards other people for whatever reason. You want to act all high and mighty towards others even if it's an adult. I mean, you pretty much think you're an anime protagonist Naruto or something like that. You want to bring old things up just because you didn't like the outcome. Because you want to, like, jerk off the drama and cause trouble. You don't know when to admit defeat. Or do you well, understand there's no how defeat. to keep things buried? I mean, what'll happen if you end up doing something like that in a job towards your coworkers or an interview of some sorts? What'll happen well, there's if you're in a job interview? Job. Probably lose your job or not even get one. And in regards to uh, Sherman, you have to look for warning signs and red flags because Sherman, he's the sort of person who has had a history of doing some bad stuff. Also, please remember to ask yourself when being around someone like him, are you here, are they here for you or are you here for them? Oh. Okay, then. You better put some actions behind those words. You better mean them. Show them that you do. Understand? There's a difference between a job and, and the internet. Um, and what do you mean by admit defeat? Most of the FCK stuff ended up just being lies. The one thing, I will say this though, the one thing that they did, did get me on, and I'll, I've admitted this since like day one, is my timeline mistake. I was pretty damn off on that. It's not like Ponder and Ezzy were wrong about everything. It's just a lot of stuff they ended up being wrong about. And that's just in regards to Ponder and Ezzy of the FCK. That doesn't include the lying about the Google document that I made. That doesn't include the photoshop screenshot the the editing out of details from screenshots or anything else like that or sending slimmers into my discord server to spy and then withholding her identity so that they could claim i was still going after her there's like a long long list of things that they got wrong hmm. well as i'm seeing the chat seems to disagree That's not an argument. Sorry about that. Yeah, our argument about populum is, is an argument and a fallacy. Just because the chat agrees with you doesn't mean you're right, and if the chat agreed with Akuma, that doesn't mean he's right. I'm so sorry. I just, I cannot believe I, uh, that. Anywho, I think we're done here. Just, I don't think I'm anybody. With us, that's all. I don't think anybody else has there. anything to say. So, uh, oh, of course, somebody else. Who's meat tenderizer? Depressed Dorito. Okay, let me see here. Where are you? Fine, I'll let you say something, and then we're leaving because I'm tired. Yeah, uh, this is gonna be a quick thing. Uh, mainly just two things. So, Akumo, you were the person that um, uh, Kai flagged down, correct? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I just wanted to clarify that. Also, um, another thing, 
Uh, it's probably not in your best interest to hang around a bunch of degenerate uh, weirdos and losers. Probably best for you and your own mental health, in my opinion. Well, wait, what degenerates do I hang out with? Um, what I mean by that is like the like doxers. Oh like yeah, not sex yeah. Okay, okay, okay. I was a little confused there, but I get what you mean. Yeah. Okay. No, I I get that. I agree. All right, that's that's all I wanted to say. We good? Everybody else done? Yeah, I guess so. All right, later. I am a little disappointed with how the call went, mainly because I had just woken up and my computer was giving me troubles every second it could. It refused to connect to the internet, took forever to open anything, and took forever just to transfer files over to my phone. I had to be on my phone and trying to use that piece of shit when I had everything prepared on my computer. With that said, I'm still glad she was even willing to talk about it, even if it was within a very biased and willfully dishonest environment, which I'll show you in just a second. The notion that Nezzy Monster's sexual harassment accusations on a minor were just an accident in oops is not remotely possible when you take into account the entire events, something her audience and the art communities willfully ignores time and time again. The first time the accusation was made was in August of 2020. Me and Nezzy Monster had our DM conversation on my Noodle Cup Boy Discord where I gave her 16 screenshots, one showing that person A was told to send here, and the rest showing that after the photo was sent, both individuals were still friends. That person B went as far as showing their own face after the fact. Person B didn't get upset about the photo until after they were no longer friends. The next month, September, Nezzy only gives Mad Libs two screenshots out of the 16 that I gave her. And those screenshots found their way into Mad Libs' video on me titled A Year of Harassment and Accusations. You heard Nezzy admit to this, and Mad Libs has said the same to me when we spoke about the FCK. Fast forward to January 2021. Nezzy Monster released a twit longer, and in it she claims that I withheld the evidence for my video, blaming me. Now, if I didn't send her any evidence, how did she give only two of my screenshots to Mad Libs in September of 2020. She knew I sent her evidence because she shared it with Mad Libs, yet she then later claimed that I sent her none in an attempt to blame me and make me the bad guy. So please tell me, art community, Senate, in what way is that an honest mistake? Then, when someone replied to her twit longer with a recording of our DMs, she changed her story, and it became that I gave her one screenshot that was cropped to only say send here, when none of the screenshots were cropped that way, and and if I did only give her one screenshot in August, how did she give Mad Libs two from our DMs a month later? And just to add to my point that none of this makes any fucking sense, especially her claims here, she previously said in this same call, the call that took place in Senate, everyone was there, we have it on recording, you yourself heard it, that she confused the screenshot being shared in her server, that there was another screenshot that was cropped being shared in her server as the screenshot that I had sent her, that that was her reasoning for claiming that I only gave her one screenshot that was cropped because she was confusing this cropped screenshot that was being shared in her server by other people as the screenshot that I gave her. And yet this is again contradicted by the fact that she gave Mad Libs two screenshots out of the 16 that I gave her. If she did confuse that one screenshot being shared around in her server as the screenshot that I sent her and completely forgot about all the other ones, how exactly did she send two completely different other screenshots from our DMs to Mad Libs. What happened to those? This is what I mean by she is a habitual liar. She says that she's taking accountability, but she continuously contradicts herself and the entire events that took place. And yet I'm the bad guy for mentioning this when she continues to lie about it. I didn't even notice this until I was editing this. She made claims that completely contradict the information she had and shared, and yet Nezzy Monster and her audience will deny dishonesty being at play. I completely understand why Nezzy Monster wants to move on from this as much as possible, let alone the other FCK members. I get it. Fuck up as big as this isn't something I'd be proud of either. An embarrassment like this would have most people running. However, that doesn't mean you get to walk away like nothing happened. And that's exactly what she was trying to do for the longest. Her occasional retelling of the events left many important details out, and she'd even lied about me again just to save face. Ironically, lies by omission and false accusations are only considered bad and talked about by the art community when they can get onto others for doing it, or 
falsely accuse others of doing it. That's why I appreciate this call. While we didn't see eye to eye on everything, and she was more concerned about the mean things I said, I don't think she's proud of or happy of her group and its lengthy fuck-ups. I don't know or care if she's a good person or a bad person. I don't know her, and I'm certainly not gonna act like art commentary and pretend to know who she is. All I know is that she and her friends wouldn't stop lying about me or people around me. She finally admitted to not giving Mad Libs all of the evidence and admitted that she was given the screenshot that contradicted the doxing claim, which I already had evidence of. I have what I want, and it's only unfortunate that it took so long. Now, the second best part of the call were the art retards coping in the gallery context chat. While not everyone in Senate was dick riding Nessie and Ponder, there were plenty that were. I'm going to read some examples from the start of the call and onward to give you a look into the delusion of some of these people. Just joined an OMG. Is Akumu still trying to harass Lemurs? That should give you a really good idea as to how this chat is going to play out. Just a little odd how this is being brought up now. It's never stopped being brought up. This coming from the same person in the same community that brings up their lies and narratives surrounding me and the Madame shit. Every chance they get. Do you people have any self-awareness? The whole point of this is that he won't leave Nezzy alone. Heaton was not the only one in the call also whining in the chat, which I'll talk more about in just a little bit. The whole point of the call was that Nezzy Monster has a problem with lying and making false accusations. Heaton must have been selective in her hearing. The call was then shifted to crying about me bringing it up or making fun of Nezzy Monster for it. How has Akumu still not outgrown his cringe r slash I am very smart phase? Someone who uses Reddit has the testicular fortitude to call me cringe. Then they start complaining that the situation is three years old, along with not being able to keep up with the discussion itself. For example, Wrath is bringing this to the people who made a video on him three years ago. People are giving him grief over it, even after the creator took it down after they had a DM conversation, so they're not making fun of these dumb people giving Wrath grief. No. The FCK made several videos, all of which had a tendency to repeat the same lies over and over. As a result, the audience fell for them because so many of their favorites had been saying the same thing. Only some of the FCK members took down their videos, but Ponder and Nezzy did not. And even then, the FCK used that to claim I bullied them into taking the videos down. When in actuality, they decided on their own volition to take them down. I need to win my three-year-old internet argument against a random person on the internet. You can still dig at someone without tagging them. I try to be as direct as possible. The irony is, while they keep crying about it being three years old, the Senate server has no problem talking about situations almost as old, if not older. Boxton's initial video on Harley is two to three years old, from 2021. They loved to talk about that. In fact, Heaton herself made a video on it. Just a Robot and Hopeless Peaches talked about the Toby drama, which is also three years old, and the Senate and art community talked about that. The Spockter situation from like 2017 or 18 came up again from the Senate and the art community. Ponder Sprocket did a video with Leo Convoy talking about Fegost, which happened in 2019. That was when she knew about it. She and Dulu didn't talk about it publicly until 2021. Just to hit the nail on the head here, later on after the call between me and Nezzy Monster, the Senate Discord server did a call for the slideshow commentary community, the SCC. And yes, that husk is still alive, but on life support. And the topic was mostly to do with Vomega. The main contention of the call was that the people there to be berated knew about what Vomega was doing and didn't tell anyone. That's perfectly fine, but I didn't see anyone bitching about the fact it's two to three years old. When I pointed that out in the text chat, I was promptly kicked from the call almost as if they knew the point I was making. Strangely enough, I can't seem to find a call where Ponder and Dulu were yelled at by Leo Convoy for not telling people about Fedghost, for trying to cover it up and protect him. But maybe they just forgot to upload it. The point I'm making is that, like the art community, the Senate is inconsistent because of the fact it has attracted and adopted a largely art community following an audience. A following an audience that is shown time and time again to only care about their moral code when they can use it against or apply it to others, but will ditch it the second their favorites that they get behind do the same things they previously condemned. Now let's go back to the chat logs. Heaton then linked Ponder's part one video. That one didn't age quite so well. And Ponder and Nezzy in darkness were more than fair giving Akumu all the benefit of the doubt they could manage. <laughs> Yes, because cherry-picking screenshots to make a doxing accusation while ignoring the ones that contradict the accusation is very fair. Because using the fact I deleted one tweet to lie about me deleting several other tweets, all to push the idea I'm hiding them, is giving me the benefit of the doubt. This list can go on and on, but like I said, just dick riding Ponder and Nezzy. I left my teenage internet personas far behind me, and I had very little drama. I don't get why Akuma had stuck around and doubled down after being such an embarrassing asshole. Time to leave 
leave the Akumu persona if you can't handle the drama that you've clearly not grown past yet. I can't imagine doubling down on the stupid shit I said as a 16-year-old edgelord. Again, the delusion with these people is astounding. It isn't doubling down, it's correcting common misconceptions and misinformation, while directly speaking with one of the people at fault for it. Settling it doesn't mean totally act like it never happened when you keep being a dick. Me being a dick has no relevancy to this. It doesn't justify lying about me. And the only person that has acted like it never happened was Nezzy and Ponder and the rest of the FCK. Just take the L dog. What are you talking about? What L is there for me to take? I've shown time and time again how you and your community are wrong. Projecting your failure onto me won't change a thing. Then they started telling me to go outside, go on a walk, and get a job. Mind you, all of these people were far more active in the Senate than I was. Constantly talking about drama, Heaton started whining because I admitted to fucking with Nezzy Monster. Apparently, that is the real issue. Poor Nezzy Monster being made fun of on the internet. Dear God. It's not like she's made fun of people on the internet. And it's not like Heaton totally hasn't. I got shit for fucking with people. Guess I should go fuck with the people who gave me shit before, not the ones who are giving me shit now. In Ouroboros, that's what this man is. The people in the VC text have no fucking understanding of what was taking place at all. I got shit because I made a point about the community's inconsistent nature while trying to take itself seriously. Kind of what Senate was doing as the call was taking place, deciding to focus on abstracts or minor details to avoid the larger ones about their favorite art YouTuber. As he made false doxing allegations? No, no. The real problem is that I made fun of her on Twitter and YouTube for it. The real problem is me talking about it, because they ignore it, yet love jumping down other people's throats for the same shit. Nezzy made various allegations and falsehoods up, and just tried to walk away. So you lay in the bed you make, except when you're liked by the art community. But there's no double standard or inconsistency. Why would I not take it to the person responsible, rather than the retards just repeating it, because Nezzy said it, so it must be true. Hell, we should probably have him start by taking a shower. More like Yagami jokes. Honestly, if I wasn't so hellbent on living a peaceful life, I'd absolutely love to fuck with the people that fucked me over. Finally, someone who's being honest with themselves. Senate was willing to fuck with Cass or Fox for trying to fuck Leo over. But if I do it to the people that tried to fuck me over, no, 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 that's bad. Akumu about to whip out the death note. More of them telling me to get a job, despite many of them practically living in fucking Senate. I don't know, teenager with delusions of grandeur and ego. Yes, because wanting consistency is delusions of grandeur and ego. No loops in logic or mental gymnastics there. Now this is one of my favorite moments that'll give you a really good look at the type of thoughts, well, lack of thoughts, that we're dealing with. When Sherman was brought up, Heaton had this to say. Did he know what Sherman was doing and didn't do anything? Stupid sanctimonious people like this remind me of that Transformers Amber Alert meme, if you know what I'm talking about. What the fuck do you expect me to do? Find where he lives with a, a SEAL Team 6 and fucking blow his brains out? What, what am I supposed to do? Get into a uh, movie-style chase? Or maybe I should give him some ridiculous, delusional, hero-villain monologue speech like Colossus from Deadpool. Everyone thinks it's a full-time job. Wake up a hero, brush your teeth a hero, go to work a hero. Not true. Over a lifetime, there are only four or five moments that really matter. Moments when you're offered a choice to make a sacrifice, conquer a flaw, save a friend, spare an enemy. In these moments, everything else falls away. The way the world sees us. The way we- Because that'll do it. It sure would make him self-reflect. Me telling him the same thing plenty of other people have told him. I swear to God, these people live in like fucking fairy tale land. I mean, after all, that seems to be a reoccurring thing in Senate. want to act like a hero. Trying to be Donnie's knight in his shining armor. But here's- here is something that should be important. A hero doesn't always do a grand battle. Sometimes they do small things, like getting cats out of trees when they're stuck. That is a very small thing, but it's a very good thing to do. And this was just a cat 
stuck in a tree. And instead of just trying to climb up the tree with a ladder or something to try and get the cat down, he tried to chop the goddamn tree down! Oh, is he done? No. No. All right, then let me be very clear. Be more concise. I'm sorry. Key. I know you haven't learned anything. Because this call made me realize that you haven't learned anything for years. So, I want you to know this. If a situation can be solved with a simple relay of, hey, he's doing this because of his mental health or physical health, nothing to do with like hating you or anything like that, relay that fucking message. Don't turn it into a goddamn anime fight because whenever you do something like that, you cause people to be hurt. Because you've hurt Donnie in that situation. The person you were trying to help. And you hurt a lot of other people too. I had to grief they didn't try making amends and wanting to move on. Fuck with the people giving you grief now. Since when was lying about something making amends? Yes, let's chill with a scumbag. Akumi needs friends. Akumu needs a life. Akumu needs a job. No, Akumu needs some time alone to reflect. And they keep going on about me going outside, getting a job application or a hobby, which is again really ironic coming from the server that consistently talks about old drama. I barely knew the dude. Then why did you let him dox people, lol? Yeah, I wonder why none of us like him. You don't like me because you've been told not to like me and you've been fed bullshit and lies. Or because I don't participate in your pronoun charade, which that'll come up in just a moment. Also, these people are acting like I have Sherman on a fucking leash. What do these retards mean by let him dox people? Am I supposed to find out where he lives and fucking assassinate him? Now, when I'm asked to apologize for making fun of someone's preferred pronouns, this again will give you another really good look at the void between their ears. Non-stop whining and seething because I won't apologize. What a loon! Dude's fucking rude. It is out of pocket, though. How are you so stupid? That is out of pocket, you imbecile. If he doesn't feel sorry, he doesn't feel sorry. Yes, but we can mock him. And we should mock him. Yes, because you all have done such a bang-up job mocking me so far. Hey, dumbass, they is a basic fucking pronoun. They is not a pronoun for gender. It's a pronoun used to refer to all. Hence why it's plural and singular. Just because you don't know what you are doesn't mean you get to misuse words and then call me the loon for not playing along with you. I use they, them pronouns, you idiot. I use all pronouns, you dumbass. When and where did I fucking ask? It really doesn't matter how they is used. They want to use it as their pronouns, and they can use it however they feel. You're exactly right, and I'm not going to play along because that's how I feel. And modern problems require modern solutions. Eats chips in they them pronouns. Like I said before, these people care more about trivial shit than the fact Nezzy Monster lied and made false accusations. Funny thing is, Senate describes itself as a barbarian server, and yet many of its members were seething in the chat over pronouns and needing to tell me what pronouns they use. As if I asked, or gave a fuck. To summarize the chat, some were desperately trying to mock me because that was easier than accepting their favorite art commentator made an oopsie that they would normally scream and bitch about. And some grasped at any and every straw to avoid the point of the discussion. Nezzy Monster lied? No, no, no. This is a three-year-old drama and I said mean things. Nezzy Monster was given evidence against her accusing me of trying to dox and did nothing to retract it. No, no. I need to touch grass, take a shower, get a job, and get a hobby. I'm a cringe edgelord with no life. Meanwhile, these same people then started seething in the chat over fucking pronouns. The lack of self-awareness is consistently astounding. You can almost taste the tism. The Senate talks about old drama and false accusations all the time, and it's fine. But if I do it, it's old and I have no life. I'm just an egotist who can't accept an L, despite the fact I have admitted where I was wrong, and they refuse to do so. Ironically, some of them won't accept that their favorites took many more L's by lying. Again, I want to preface this with saying that not all of Senate is this fucking stupid, I assure you. The retarded members are often the ones that come from the art community. Big shock, I know. Now, Nezzy Monster was not the only one I wanted
wanted to talk with for lying about me. One particular Spurg I mentioned before who was listening to the call and bitching in the chat was Heaton Mitsuru, a friend of Nezzy Monsters who coincidentally was also in the chat of the gender debate that I had with Bunk all the way back in 2021, bringing up the Madame drama and accusing me of trying to dox Slamers. I wonder where she heard that from. After the call and sin, and I brought this up to her in the same chat, and though she heard in the call that the allegation wasn't true, and saw the screenshot of Nezzy Monster herself admitting that, Heaton grabbed her shovel to dig herself deeper. She was determined to be the last man standing and die on this hill. So let's go over her autistic bravery. You said try to dox a child. Looking into information that was released by James and Slamers is not the same as doxing. That's why you were mentioned there. She has a very, like, whiny bitch voice, and I, I don't know how to do it. It's, like, very high-pitched and nasally. What would you have done if you got it? You'd have just kept it to yourself? There we go. We're getting there. We're getting there. We're working our way there. Literally nothing. I said this all throughout the replies of people accusing me of doxing, something Ponder and Nezzy ignored in my feed. For reference, on the 28th of September, day later, I made a follow-up tweet addressing the claim and clearing the air on the idea I would release it. Ponder and Nezzy didn't discuss that. And before you say you were suspended later, don't gish gallop me. Gish galloping? What the fuck does that even mean? Is a rhetorical technique in which a person in a debate attempts to overwhelm their opponent by providing an excessive number of arguments with no regard for the accuracy or the strength of those arguments. So she's just throwing around bullshit as usual. They, they love their buzzwords. It was made the same day my tweets that Majesty read the video. If you would have gotten that information, would you have published it? It was already published, but no. I clarified this on my Twitter and to James himself. If it was already published, then why did you need her county? If I wanted to dox her, I could have put out her county, which I had from James's video. I didn't. I didn't need her county. Never said I did. I said I had it. My tweet is above in this chat. And before you say why, as I explained, I tried to look into everything, and even then I got details wrong, like my timeline mistake, albeit Ponder and Nessie made a larger one. So you expect me to believe that after you'd been going over your screed harassing a child and making crude comments about her essay because people weren't yelling at her to the sufficient degree you'd have liked that if you'd gone on your hands on the information of hers that you were publicly asking you'd have just sat on it? Like, for instance, claiming a tweet on the 26th came before the 24th. The date on the tweet is literally shown in the video. I told you to stop! Don't give me before you say. If I have a question, I'll ask it. That's pretty much what this discussion is. Anytime Heaton is around her friends, she thinks that she has confidence. When she isn't, she runs away. You said that you were going to continue to hound her until everyone else agreed she'd done wrong. Those were your words. I don't know how you think I used alt accounts to talk to her isn't evidence of harassment. As typical when it comes to the art community, they have to derail the conversation to avoid the fact that they were wrong by whipping out other shit that they claim that I did. Right? I harass slumers, and yet they have very little evidence of it. Yet they claim I did it on multiple accounts. The conversation here just kept going and going, and she had to derail pretty much the entire fucking topic to just avoid admitting that she was wrong. Eventually ending it on, I know about some of the positive things you've done, but it doesn't make up for you being an annoying whiny baby who won't leave my friends alone over something 90% of people would have written off as you being an impulsive kid if you weren't so determined to defend it. Your friends are the snakes. The only one I went out of my way to start shit with was Doodle Tones. And that makes you a good person? Never said it did. Man, what are you on? I want some of that. Where did I ever argue I was a good person? Huff your copium. You're not convincing anyone. The person who sounds like this. Uh, I don't think there is too excessively in this situation, but cool is the same person who's telling me I sound like an annoying whiny baby. You know what? Let's talk about that 90% of people. Why not? That 90% of people have no problem talking about lies, false accusations, lies or false accusations about a minor, people dogpiling a minor, so on, so on, right? No one had a problem talking about that. Everyone, in fact, got uppity and lost their fucking minds because of it. Yet, when your friends did it, there was not a fucking peep. When Madame was doing it, dear God, it's the end of the fucking world. When you guys were doing it, crickets. You like to pretend you're this morally virtuous individual, but you didn't say anything. In fact, here you are trying to defend your friends and what they did. And what's embarrassing about this for you, Heaton, is that you're dying on the hill of something you have no fucking clue about. Then why did you ask for her county when I never fucking asked for her county? How fucking retarded are you to die on a hill of something that you don't even consistently know for certain of what took place? And I'm saying this because I've done this before. My timeline. I was wrong about my timeline. And guess what? That was pretty fucking retarded of me, wasn't it? And yet here you are, dying on the hill of this false accusation that your friends made. And you don't even know what the fuck happened? You don't even know what I said. Why does that sound familiar? Bringing something up with no regard for the accuracy. Huff your copium, you're not convincing anyone. I'm not trying to convince you, Heaton, because you were never interested in the truth. You can tell everyone that you are, pretend that you are, you'll find someone else to grandstand later, and I'll be waiting. I'll be waiting to point out this.
But you were never interested in the truth, as is the majority of the art community and its audience. It's not about the truth. It's not about knowing what actually happened. It's not about accountability and consequences. Those words that you throw around like a fucking punchline. You and me both know that. It's about maintaining your friend's narrative. It's about maintaining the narrative that your community painted about me. That's what it's always been about. And because of that fact... My series is here. You ended up being wrong, and you're telling me to cope. Throughout this series, I've been able to admit where I fucked up, where I made a mistake, where I was wrong on something. You and your community won't. You refuse to. And yet I'm the immature one. I'm the one that can't move past it. Conveniently when I talk about it, but you all keep bringing it up to try and use it against me. Funny how that works. Your argument, though calling it an argument, is being extremely generous, is just an assumption of intent. You tried using my own words against me, but also ignored my words at the time, clarifying I wasn't going to be releasing shit, and didn't even actually know my words to begin with, ignoring the contradictions that disprove your all's little conspiracy that I was trying to dox, even ignoring the screenshots I sent where Nezzy admitted to being wrong two days after her and Ponder's video. You ignore all of that, and yet you want to say that I'm not convincing you. Of course I'm not, because you were never going to be convinced to begin with. So what exactly do I need to cope with? Please enlighten me, Heaton, since you're this all-knowing whiny little bitch, because it was never about convincing you anyone. Sure, some people that are genuinely curious on what actually happened will be convinced, and there are some people that have been and have heard me out, but whether you are convinced or not has always been and will be irrelevant. That's the beauty of an objective truth. This isn't about people thinking I'm a good person or a bad person. I could give a fuck less about that, and I don't concern myself with obsessing over and hinging everything on reputation, unlike you. Especially when this reputation setup for credibility and trust has failed your community so many times before, including you, Heaton. The history of art commentary and its drama consistently show that it's always been the trusted people with the bigger audiences that ended up lying the most and being the very thing they point the finger at, whether they be lying about other people or doing the same actions they've condemned. Their community always responds with a bewildered surprise. Wh what? This person was lying to us the whole time? Perfect example is the very friend you try to defend. The difference is that the community ignores what she did and ignores what the rest of her friends did because there hasn't been a group of liked large content creators talking about their antics. This autistic Artistic structure goes both ways, a double-sided coin of bandwagon retardation. On one side, a group of liked large audience content creators can all lie about someone, and it be regarded as true. The FCK is a perfect example. Another is Kai, Omnia, prison mate Luke, and Dulu, who all took just a robot out of context to try and smear him with lies. On the other side, liked large audience content creators can all talk about someone else's fuck-ups and hypocrisy, like Creepshow Art. It's almost like art commentary rewards that behavior, and only later tries to hold people accountable for those same antics and inconsistently at that. What determines something being true to the art community isn't really the credibility of the evidence or the evidence to begin with. It's based on how many times it's repeated by the people and the reputation of the people repeating it. But reputations are also inconsistent, hence why the FCK could do exactly what they did towards me and none of it be talked about. 99% of that community is fake, manufactured bullshit from a group of people just aiming to lie and control the narrative. Because if they all repeat the same lies, It'll seem true to an audience that can't think for themselves. This is why I have a hard time taking your community seriously when you try to speak on anything, let alone events that involve me. Ignorance is bliss, and Heaton is just like the rest, drowning in it. That community denied that I was right for three fucking years, and yet when they hear it from the horse's mouth, I'm still the bad guy because of some mean tweets and comments. But I'm also the one who's huffing copia. Okay, because that makes sense. Clearly this reputation and good person, bad person, moral escapade shit isn't working out so well for you all. I concern myself with what is true and what is not, with the occasional irony. And it's, it's, it's an addiction of mine, okay? I'm working on it. Now, so many of you claim to care about the truth and accountability, if that even fucking exists, considering they're inconsistent on when it's relevant. But their own actions contradict the supposed morals they claim to have. Heat and wine that this is a three-year-old video, that it hasn't stopped being brought up since it happened, right? As if she didn't make a video on Foxton's two-year-old Harley video. But it gets even better, because in 2021, Heaton made a video on Junkie talking about shit from 2018. The kicker here is, this same thing I'm telling you about, that community and lying about people and they just regard it as true, is something Heaton herself has dealt with. Just take a look at this from Lyle Convoy's video on Spockter. This is when Spockter goes into Heaton's video. Heaton, who was lied about, by Junkie, who lost all of her friends because of Junkie, who had to work years to clear her name and rebuild her reputation because your friend lied to people. 
Now, what was your response to her justified anger? The name's junkie apparently lied about Heaton. She had to work years to clear her name and rebuild her reputation. Huh. It's almost like this reputation shit doesn't work for the art community, even for the ones that want to cling to it and try to use it. Heaton knows firsthand how lies are spread by people in that community, and wanting to dispel the ones about herself and clear her name. But she has no problem participating in that same behavior, and she has a problem with me clearing my name. It's perfectly fine for all these art people to dispel false narratives. It's apparently what Heaton had to do for herself. That's one of the many goals of the calls in Senate. But like the hypocrites that they are, they just can't help themselves, and they made one. But if I want to dispel false narratives, or clear my name from the art community's lies, I just need to go. I guess it's somehow different, because her friends are the ones who told those lies. Isn't it funny how that works? Right after the call, I began sharing my series and discussing the fact Nezzy admitted to what I'd been saying, a few members getting upset about it, Lumi and Admin being one of them. She said that they talked before the call and predicted that I would talk about how I was right. So big brain of her. We've got the next Einstein on our hands. I mean, what possibly could have led you to such an accurate prediction? Definitely not the fact Nezzy Monster first tried to blame me when lying about it in 2021. One. Then when it was brought up in the next three years, she either outright lied or withheld information she had. By Nezzy Monster's own belief, that's lying by omission. Her audience in the art community either denied it, bought her retelling of the events that painted it as though she made a simple mistake, or didn't talk about it at all. Three years of that only for her to contradict herself in a recorded call, lie in said recorded call, and then admit that she did not give Mad Libs all of the evidence when she accused me of that in 2021, of not giving her all of the evidence. And you predicted that I would talk about how I was right. Well, who could have seen that coming? I was later randomly banned, and never told a reasoning as to what rule I broke. I've heard different answers through hearsay. On one hand, it's because I associate with Kumo, someone that Peaches used the Senate server to try and dunk on for a situation she had to misrepresent and cut context, to which she then cried wolf over, because Kumo was talking about the fact she misrepresented what happened. A classic art commentary tale. Definitely not a hug box for Peaches, though. On the other hand, if we're playing a game of guilty by association, the Senate loses there, because Nezzy Monster and Doodle Tones are still very much members. If it's because they deem Kumo a degenerate, Nezzy Monster, Hopeless Peaches, and especially Doodle Tones are also degenerates. If you'd like to know more about the first two, watch this episode of my series. I've tried to play ball with you people. I've tried to give you the information. If you want to die on this hill, you can die on the hill. The series is still continuing. Inshallah.